Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marvel's I Am a Poisonous Spider. Chapter 26. At Stanley's Pizza, Leon and Bruce were sitting face to face. You mean, let me accept the Hulk in me. Bruce looked at Liang in shock, suspecting that he had heard wrong. Things start a few days ago. After temporarily solving his physical problems, Bruce got in touch with Liang again. After considering the differences with Dr. Stern, considering his own problems, Bruce chose to make an appointment with Leon at Stanley's Pizza. Through the chat, Bruce accidentally learned that Li Ang's identity was actually a postdoctoral Li Ang from the Osborne group, and the two felt like they had met each other late. At the same time, Li Ang also directly stated that he recognized Bruce's identity. Facing Li Ang who recognized him, Bruce could no longer hide it. After all, Li Ang, like Dr. Stern, was someone who he considered trustworthy as the people who had helped him before. For a long time, it has been the two of them who have been working hard to help themselves solve their physical problems. Plus, because of treatment, Dr. Stern already knew about his situation. Bruce felt that there was no need for him to deliberately hide from Li Ang. However, what Bruce didn't expect was that Li Ang had already guessed his true condition through his own blood sample. After the two met, Li Ang told the Hulk's existence straight to the point. Before Bruce had time to be surprised, Li Ang's next sentence completely shocked him. Li Ang actually let him accept Hulk. The way to completely solve your physical problems is that you accept the existence of Hulk and integrate with Hulk. Facing Bruce's rhetorical question, Li Ang emphasized seriously. What a joke. Bruce was very angry and disagreed with Li Ang's statement. All the efforts he has made all the time are to solve the problem of Hulk in his body. Now Li Ang actually told him that as long as he is willing to accept the Hulk in his body, he can completely solve his physical problems. Isn't this a joke? If he could accept Hulk, he wouldn't have escaped so hard. What's more, after transforming into Hulk, Bruce could clearly feel that his consciousness was severely suppressed. If he fully accepts the Hulk, Bruce suspects that he may never be able to change back. Drive Banner, calm down, what I said about accepting the Hulk is not what you imagined. Li Ang said calmly, soothing the excited Bruce calmly. What do you think? Bruce still chose to listen to Li Ang's method. The acceptance I mean is to accept the power given to you by Gamma Rays, mastered by the Hulk, and belong to you. Who do you think Hulk is? Li Ang asked back. Bruce froze for a moment, then fell into thought. Have you ever heard of split personality? Li Ang said what Bruce was worried about. You mean, I'm the Hulk? Bruce pointed at himself hesitantly, and asked Li Ang with his eyes. Li Ang nodded heavily. Bruce collapsed on the seat all of a sudden, leaning against the back of the seat as if he had no bones. Bruce has always treated the Hulk inside him as an enemy. In his cognition, he and Hulk are two completely different individuals. Even if they share the same body, what Hulk does has nothing to do with him. Bruce has always told himself this, and that's why he can still live with peace of mind after Hulk has caused so much killing and destruction. He blames the Hulk for all his mistakes and sins. However, now Leon told him that Hulk was just another personality split from him under the radiation of gamma rays. Hulk is him, he is Hulk. How is this possible? Bruce looked unacceptable, he raised his hands tremblingly, watching in fear. Just thinking about the amount of damage the Hulk has done with those hands makes Bruce feel guilty. Drive Banner, you should understand the situation of split personality, and also understand the method of treating split personality. Only by letting Hulk's personality disappear, can you really solve your physical problems. Like I said, the powers that the Hulk has are given to you by gamma rays, it's just the idea of you running away, making your brain create a personality to bear that power. Because of this, you subconsciously think that this kind of power belongs to Hulk, but it is not. This kind of power belongs to you. Accept it, and you can really solve your own body problems. Leon didn't lie to Bruce. In his opinion, Bruce's problem did not come from the power of the Hulk form, but because the power of the Hulk was mastered by Hulk. It's no surprise that a purely angry personality has been, born, in less than a year and has wreaked havoc. If Bruce's current situation was reversed, Bruce would definitely not be so worried. When the power of the Hulk is controlled by Bruce's personality, he can choose not to use this power at any time. And Hulk, 
who is another personality, when he appears, the Hulk's power disappears. No matter how angry he was, he couldn't cause much damage. Is this really possible? Bruce hesitated. He also knows that the Hulk in his body may really be the product of split personality. He also knows something about split personality. As for the treatment of split personality, there is indeed a saying of fusion of personality. As Li Ang said, accept the Hulk and integrate into one. As long as he still has Bruce's personality, his physical problems can be completely resolved. When he can freely control the power of the Hulk, the Hulk is no longer a disaster. Bruce knows that there is nothing wrong with power itself, it is always the person who uses the power that is wrong. Trust me, and trust your own judgment, I think you should already have the answer in your heart. Li Ang looked at Bruce encouragingly, expecting him to make a decision. Okay, what should I do? Taking a deep breath, Bruce decided that he should try it anyway. After listening to Li Ang's words, he also understood that he was only trying to limit Hulk by suppressing his Hulk's ability. However, Bruce also knows that the ability given to him by Gamma Rays will never disappear as long as he is alive. Under the influence of Gamma Rays, the ability to transform into a Hulk has been permanently engraved into his genetic sequence. You need it, a counselor. Li Ang narrowed his eyes and said softly. Hello, I'm Norman, Norman Osborn, you should have heard my name. In Stanley's Pizza, under the introduction of Li Ang, Norman greeted Bruce warmly. Yes, the counselor Li Ang mentioned was exactly Norman. In Li Ang's view, Norman, who is somewhat similar to Bruce, is the most suitable psychological counselor. Hi, my name is Bruce Banner, nice to meet you. Bruce is also very happy. Bruce agrees with successful researchers like Norman and Leon. I have read your published papers, and your insights into biological genes are very unique. You read my paper. What an honor. The two shook hands enthusiastically, as if they hated seeing each other late. Are you the psychological counselor that Mr. Liang said? I didn't expect Mr. Norman to have research on psychology. The two sat down and talked face to face. No, 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 Norman shook his head, I don't know any psychology. Then you are. Bruce wondered. I just have the same situation as you. Norman said bluntly. You also have a split personality. Bruce was very surprised. He didn't expect that Norman Osborne, the president of the Norman Group and a top expert in biological genes, also had, split personality disorder. Yes, Norman nodded, so I think we can have a good chat. I think so, Bruce's eyes lit up, how do you see another personality in yourself? After finally meeting a, patient, who had the same condition as himself, Bruce was very eager to discuss each other's illness with Norman. What do you think? Norman thought for a while, but suddenly fell into deep thought. What happened? Bruce, who sensed something was wrong, hurriedly asked. It's nothing. Norman shook his head. If I really want to say it, I feel very sorry for him. What? Bruce was taken aback. Who? Are you talking about your other personality? Bruce was very surprised, and couldn't understand why Norman said that. In fact, the current Norman really thinks so. When the evil personality was born in Norman's body, a large number of negative thoughts were absorbed by him as nutrients to strengthen himself. This caused Norman's main personality to have all positive thoughts and become a real kind personality. It can be said that the real Norman died at the moment of split personality. What remains is that the complete personality is divided into two, and the evil personality and the good personality appear. Yes, I'm sorry, it was my fault that he appeared. However, I want to make him suffer the pain caused by his mistakes and lock him up. Isn't it too unfair to him? What Norman said reminded Bruce of himself. Similarly, it was the fault caused by my own experimental mistakes. Similarly, it was I who let Hulk suffer all this in order to escape. In the same way, after he achieved his goal, he tried every means to lock Hulk up in exchange for the normal life he wanted. Are you, a little too selfish? Bruce couldn't help but ask himself. When you think about it, no matter what Hulk does, no matter what kind of damage he causes, he never seems to hurt himself. On the contrary, when he was in danger, he had been protecting him. Even Bruce himself has developed a habit subconsciously, thinking of Hulk immediately when there is any danger. The existence of Hulk makes him not afraid of all dangers. This is a kind of trust and a kind of dependence.
It's just that Bruce himself has never noticed this kind of emotion, nor has he thought about it. Now when I communicated with Norman, I suddenly realized that I had been wrong all along. Hulk has never been a poison, but an antidote for his healing. It's really unfair. After thinking it over, Bruce agreed with Norman's statement. However, we can't let them move freely because of this. You know in your heart what kind of damage they will cause. Bruce is clear and clear, and he is still very rational in his heart. Although he would feel guilty about Hulk's situation, he doesn't regret what he has done now. He is too aware of Hulk's power. If Hulk is not controlled, he will definitely cause great damage to human society. I know, and I have experienced it, he is really scary, he will hurt the people around you and destroy everything you have. Norman also understands that the evil personality in his body is indeed dangerous. But I think we can get along as peacefully as possible. There is no need to lock him up tightly. After all, we share the same body, so we can let him live with us. As he spoke, Norman's expression suddenly changed, revealing an evil grin. As it is now. What? Bruce stood up excitedly and looked at Norman in shock. What? Surprised. Norman smiled evilly and stood up gently. He is still so naive, thinking that this behavior of letting me come out to breathe freely can influence me. Naive. Although evil Norman was very dismissive of Norman's remarks just now, Bruce could feel that evil Norman did not dislike Norman's behavior. Moreover, the evil Norman who appeared in front of Bruce's eyes did not make any destructive actions. It seems that Norman's statement is really useful. Evil Norman would probably die laughing if he knew what Bruce was thinking. It's not that he doesn't have any evil thoughts, it's all because Li Ang is sitting beside him. It would be fine if he could transform now, even if he couldn't beat him, he would have to resist. Now he is only able to come out because of Norman's permission, and the fundamental control is actually still in the hands of Norman. The personality of the evil Norman has been connected with the power of the Green Devil, just like the Hulk in Bruce's body, if he wants to come out completely, he can only come out with the power of the Green Devil. However, Bruce didn't know, he didn't even know that Norman had a powerful power hidden in his body, and was also controlled by the sub-personality in his body. Like that, I thought, it wouldn't hurt to have him come out more. With that said, Norman's expression returned to normal again. He went back. Bruce raised an eyebrow. Seeing other people's personality switching so easily, he was really not used to it. Yes, he said he was annoying and went back. Norman smiled slightly. Bruce nodded thoughtfully. At this moment, there was a sudden commotion outside the pizzeria. Look, it's an armored vehicle. Are there any tanks? No, but there are gunships. Outside the pizzeria, there were loud shouts from the chaotic crowd. When Bruce heard it, he stood up immediately, turned around and was about to run towards the back door. What happened? Norman asked curiously, is there anything I need help with? The military sent people to arrest me again, I have to leave quickly. Bruce said solemnly, with a serious expression. Li Ang chuckled after hearing this, don't be nervous, Dr. Banner, their goal should not be here. You are not exposed, and they are not here to catch you. Li Ang looked at Bruce amusedly, and felt that the other party was a bit of a shadow of a snake, and the grass and trees were like soldiers. They are sitting together now, and if there is any danger approaching, Li Ang's spider sensor will definitely send out a warning. Bruce looked at Li Ang hesitantly, why are you so sure? Logically speaking, if the military is really here to arrest him, it shouldn't be so grandiose. After making such a big commotion, he must have run away long ago. But, if it's not to catch yourself, who would need the military to use such a large force? Bruce was very puzzled. Don't worry, Dr. Banner, please trust me. Li Ang looked confident. Perhaps it was Li Ang's confident words that gave Bruce confidence, or maybe it was the previous friendship that made Bruce choose to believe in Li Ang. In short, under Li Ang's comfort, Bruce sat down again. Then Dr. Banner, why do you think the military has dispatched such a large force and made such a big commotion? As soon as Bruce sat down, Li Ang asked directly. What? Bruce was taken aback for a moment, a little confused by Li Ang's sudden question. It's nothing. Li Ang smiled, stopped talking, and turned to look out the window. Li Ang knew in his heart that apart from Bruce who could transform into the Hulk, the only one who could make such a big commotion was the hatred injected with Bruce's serum. 
However, the time when this abomination appeared was completely different from what Liang remembered. Presumably, some accident that Liang didn't even know happened to complete the current situation. Bruce looked puzzled, but sat down obediently. Suddenly, Bruce felt inexplicably flustered, and his heart missed a few beats. What's wrong with me? Bruce asked inwardly. Boom. At this moment, a loud noise came from a distance. Ah. Monster. Run, the giant is coming. The crowd in the street suddenly became agitated. In the distance, with bursts of explosions approaching from far to near, something is constantly approaching. Bruce leaned on the window and clearly saw cars being thrown high and then smashed down, causing successive explosions and countless pedestrian casualties. The entire street was filled with smoke, explosions and screams from the crowd. The chaos kept approaching, the crowd fled one after another, and even the military's armored vehicles kept retreating. What happened? Bruce frowned. You'll know if you go out and take a look. As Li Ang said, he walked out first, and Norman immediately followed after seeing it, leaving Bruce alone in the pizzeria. Hey. What are you doing? It's very dangerous outside. Seeing Li Ang and the two walking out without saying a word, Bruce also became anxious. He kept shouting behind the two of them, hoping that Li Ang and the others would come back, and don't do stupid things. Facing Bruce's concern, Li Ang turned back confidently and smiled. Then, he took Norman and left straight away. On the other side, the battle between the hatred and the military is in full swing. It's just that, under a body that hates invulnerability, the military can only retreat steadily. After all, it is on the street, and many weapons cannot be used normally. Under the pressure of hatred, they could only retreat towards the campus of Corvo School. However, judging from the direction of the hatred, he must have some purpose in going to Corvo School. This kind of situation is exactly in line with the military's plan. They have already set up a firepower network on the campus after they determined the direction of the abomination. Just wait for the abomination to enter the encirclement, and directly cover him with firepower to destroy him, or subdue him. Finally, the hatred successfully entered the campus of Corvo University, and also successfully stepped into the encirclement of the military. Call me. General Ross gave the order angrily. In his opinion, he has an unshirkable responsibility for the emergence of hatred, and now he has to pay for all the actions of hatred. A good plan was completely ruined by the emir. If he didn't get something from the emir, there would be absolutely no way for General Ross to hand over to the military. Even a dead body is better than nothing. Following General Ross's order, a large number of bullets poured towards the abomination. Firelight and metal intertwined into a barrage of firepower, completely covering the loathsome figure. However, relying on the hard skeletal tissue of the body, the hatred blocked all the bullets relying on the flesh. Even the onboard machine gun on the armored vehicle couldn't hurt him at all. Facing the firepower pouring out from the military, he smiled in disgust and contempt. Holding all the bullets, he rushed towards the armored vehicle in the distance. Three steps and two steps in parallel, with a leap, it smashed heavily in front of the armored vehicle. Clasping fists with both hands, hammering the front of the car, the entire armored car immediately tilted up. The hatred grabbed it, and the hard fingers pierced deeply into the car body. When the hands parted, the entire armored vehicle was torn in half by the hatred. With one hand in each hand, and with a swipe left and right, the two sections of the car body whirled and flew towards the armored vehicle parked in the distance. The surrounding soldiers didn't have time to react, they only heard two consecutive explosions of, boom and boom. Turning his head, he saw that all three armored vehicles had been turned into fragments all over the place. Where's the sonic cannon? Led him to the sonic cannon. General Ross looked anxious, and he was shocked by the strength of his hatred. This kind of destructive power is no longer lost to Hulk, not to mention that the current hatred is obviously not perfect. The left side of the body, which is much smaller, is a good proof. Although this is the case, it still makes the military feel tricky. If it turns into a full body, wouldn't it be even more difficult to deal with? Facing the emir who has become so powerful, General Ross's plan for man-made super soldiers can't help but revive again. Try to capture him alive. Yep, the abomination couldn't be made again without Bruce's blood. 
However, with the body of the abomination and the blood of the abomination, new abominations can be created. The armored vehicle loaded with the sonic cannon was quickly driven over, ready to fire at the abomination from a distance. The surrounding soldiers also began to fight and retreat, constantly attracting hatred towards the sonic cannon. However, the abomination is not the Hulk. As an ace soldier of the U.S. military, Emil is very familiar with military weapons. When he saw the sonic cannon, he had already noticed the purpose of General Ross. But he still pretended not to notice, pretending to be lured over. As the distance continued to approach, and it was about to enter the range of the sonic cannon, the hatred suddenly burst into trouble. With a squat, the thick right leg kicked hard, and the whole figure leapt towards the position of the sonic cannon. Fire! Fire! The soldiers shouted in panic. Ohm! As soon as the words fell, the soldiers on the armored vehicle hurriedly pulled the switch, and a ring-shaped sonic column shot towards the abomination. The abominable man was in the air, facing the attack of the sonic cannon, he had nowhere to hide, and was knocked out with a, boom. Hatred paid the price for his carelessness, but it also saved his life. Because the sonic cannons were activated in a hurry, the two sonic cannons did not cooperate. As the abomination was knocked out, the attack of the other sonic cannon also fell through. Taking advantage of the gap between the two sonic cannons adjusting their direction, the abomination quickly got up after landing, and rushed towards the nearest sonic cannon. Bang! Sound! Hate jumped up high, clasped his hands together, and slammed hard on the sonic cannon. After destroying one, the hatred didn't stop, and then grabbed the armored vehicle under him and raised it high. With a vigorous throw of both hands, the armored vehicle in his hand flew towards another sonic cannon. Facing the armored vehicle that fell straight down, the soldiers manipulating the sonic cannon didn't have the time to adjust their direction. They scrambled to open the car door and fled towards the distance. Boom! There was a loud bang, and the sound of the explosion was accompanied by flames and thick smoke rising in place. Giggle! Under the reflection of the fire, he turned his head in hatred and viciously, and looked at Rose with a sneer. Ross, you will pay for your actions. Facing the disgusting provocation, General Ross slapped his right hand fiercely with a face full of anger, and roared into the walkie-talkie. Why hasn't the armed helicopter come over yet? Facing the anger of General Ross, the armed helicopter quickly arrived, aimed at the abomination and began to unleash its firepower. Large caliber airborne machine guns and missiles shot towards the abomination one after another. Facing the armor-piercing bullets sprayed out by the airborne machine gun, even the abomination with super defensive power must avoid its edge. Look for the direction, hate turned and fled. The barrage kept chasing behind the abomination, and landed on the lawn, kicking up a large swath of soil and turf, mixed with the gunfire smoke, successfully covering the abomination's figure. Stop! Stop! In the smoke and dust, artillery fire continued to pour out, but no movement of hatred could be heard. It had been a long time since hate showed his figure, General Ross sensed something was wrong, and quickly stopped the machine gunner. As the artillery fire ceased, the dust that filled the air gradually fell. After the dust settled, on the lawn that had been punched out into a shallow pit, the figure of hatred had long since disappeared. He's there. The army was looking for the abomination everywhere, a soldier suddenly saw the back of the abomination in the distant teaching building, and hurriedly shouted the warning. Immediately, everyone forgot about the past, and saw abomination covering his head with both hands, a short body broke through the wall, and successfully entered the teaching building. Ross cursed. Facing the hatred who hid in the teaching building, the large number of powerful weapons he had prepared were all useless. To rely on individual weapons to capture the abomination alive is simply a dream. But General Ross couldn't just give up like this. With a wave of his right hand, the soldiers rushed towards the teaching building. Shin followed the hole that the hatred knocked out and filed in, entering the teaching building one after another. Over there, Hate's huge body can't be hidden in the teaching building at all, and the movement of running clearly shows his position. The soldiers searched for the sound, and soon found the trace of the loathing. Abomination also found that the soldiers had already chased after them, but they were still looking for something on each floor in a calm manner, looking confident. It's no wonder that the soldiers who despise the army like this hate, the weapons in their hands can't bring the slightest threat to the hatred, and the small caliber rifles can't even break his skin. 
The soldiers did not give up because of this, they all relied on the weapons in their hands to bring them courage, and they could only choose to believe that the weapons in their hands were enough to cause damage to the abomination. Fortunately, hate has another purpose, and has no intention of stopping to destroy this group of soldiers. Otherwise, the soldiers might be wiped out by the abomination in less than five minutes. Found it. In the experimental area on the fifth floor of the teaching building, Hate saw the crowd hiding inside through the glass, and successfully found his target in it. The loathing grinned ferociously, and a ferocious face was reflected on the glass wall. Ah. In the experimental area, with the eyes of hatred watching, the crowd screamed one after another. Shooting. From behind, a group of soldiers chased after him. Following the captain's order, he aimed at the back of the abomination and fired again and again. The bullets rained down on Abomination's back, but bounced out immediately, scattered all over the ground with crackling noises. The sharp pain coming from behind made the hatred very irritable. Finding the target also made Abomination Wuxin play with the soldiers, turned around and roared, and ran towards the soldiers. The Abomination is huge, but its speed is not slow. With quick strides under his feet, he quickly rushed into the crowd. Waving his hands left and right, the two soldiers flew out directly, fell heavily on the walls on both sides and bounced back, falling to the ground. In a blink of an eye, there was no sound. Under the terrified gazes of the other soldiers, Hate smiled ferociously. He grabbed someone casually and threw them at the others like a weapon. With a sweep and left and right swing, all the surrounding soldiers were swept away by him. Looking at the only remaining soldier captain in the distance, he gave him a disgusted and contemptuous look. Throwing his right hand, he threw the corpse in his hand towards him. Then, without looking back, he turned and walked towards the experimental area behind him. Whoa! There was a sound of glass breaking. Outside the glass wall, Hate broke the glass with a punch and walked into the laboratory. Ah, monster! Don't come here! Facing the loathing approaching, the hiding crowd uttered fearful cries. Quiet! Loathing him tirelessly, with a wave of his right hand, all the people in front of him were thrown into the air, and they fell heavily to the ground without moving. People immediately became as quiet as a chilling cicada, and no longer dared to make a sound. Hate nodded in satisfaction, walked up to his target and said. Found you, Elizabeth Rose. Look who I've caught, General Ross. In front of the teaching building, Hate's right hand shouted to General Ross in the distance. General Ross took a look through the binoculars and couldn't help cursing angrily. I saw that Hate's right hand was clenched tightly, grabbing Elizabeth's waist and raising it high. He looked at General Ross with a wild smile on his face, and let Elizabeth struggle painfully in his palm. Ross, I know you injected me with Hulk's blood, give me a blood sample, and I'll let your daughter go. Hate shouted at General Ross. Help me, Dad. Elizabeth cried out in fear. Facing the threat of hatred in Elizabeth's call for help, General Ross looked angry but helpless. He still loves his daughter. In this case, he can only choose to save her daughter before talking about other things. As for what the hatred will look like after getting the serum, and how he will be punished, these are all things for him in the future. Bronsky, I agree to your terms. But you must keep Elizabeth safe. Faced with the danger of Elizabeth's life, Rose could only choose to compromise. Of course, don't worry, giggling. With a wicked grin, he put down Elizabeth casually, pinching the back of her neck gently with his right thumb and index finger. While controlling Elizabeth's freedom, she also controls Elizabeth's life. If Elizabeth wants to escape, or Rose wants to send someone to rescue, the hatred can easily take Elizabeth's life with just a pinch. However, my patience is limited. Abomination said with a smirk as he moved his fingers lightly. Three hours, I'll only wait for you for three hours. After three hours, if I don't get what I want, she's useless. As he spoke, he raised his left hand and shook it firmly, signaling to General Ross that he could not find the consequences. General Ross dared not speak out, turned around and roared at his subordinates. Hurry up and find Bruce for me, life or death, as long as you bring me his blood. Ross can't care about anything for his daughter, and he doesn't care about Banner's life or death. On the other side, in a corner of the campus, Leon, who turned into a poisonous spider, led Dr. Norman to watch the confrontation between Abomination and General Ross from a distance on the roof. 
How about the performance of the Green Goblin suit? Li Ang turned back, looked at Norman in front of him and asked. At this time, Norman also completed the cross-dressing like Li Ang. He was wearing a set of dark green metal armor, a devil mask on his head, and a green flying skateboard under his feet, stopping firmly behind Li Ang. It is worth mentioning that the Green Goblin armor Norman is wearing and the Green Goblin skateboard he is stepping on are both in the style of the second generation Green Goblin, but the color is still dark green. With Li Ang's help, the performance of the Green Goblin suit is naturally much stronger than the original version, and the style has naturally changed. According to Li Ang's preferences, the second generation Green Goblin suit is naturally more handsome and convenient. Great. Norman smiled excitedly. I feel like I'm back in my school days, this set of equipment is really cool. It seems that Norman's personality has not only become more positive, but even his mental age has become younger with his body. Seeing such a green goblin, Liang couldn't help but laugh a little, as long as you like it. What shall we do next? Norman asked curiously. After being pulled over by Liang, Norman has been curious about Liang's purpose. There is nothing special here except for an ugly monster with bald top and bottom. Just wait and see. Li Ang was also a little hesitant. Not only did the hatred in front of him appear at the wrong time, but even the transformation was deformed and incomplete. What's more, after seeing the hatred with his own eyes, Li Ang found that the other party was uglier than he imagined. Not only is he bald, but he is also a eunuch. According to his previous experience of absorbing genes, the transformation ability obtained has always been optimized. However, no one can say whether baldness is an advantage or a disadvantage. If this is optimized again, how ugly I will become. What good can a bald head do? Add crit. Thinking of this, Liang gradually dispelled his idea of absorbing the hate gene. After all, I already have the genetic pattern of Hulk so there is no need to take risks for an inferior defective product. However, the development of the matter made Li Ang very interested. He is also very curious about what kind of decision Bruce, who can already live a normal life, will make in the face of the life-threatening situation of his ex-girlfriend. After all, for the current Bruce, he has no way to control himself to transform. As long as he is not really on the verge of death, Hulk's power will never be aroused. Norman nodded indifferently. Minutes passed by. Soon, the agreed time limit of three hours came. However, the people sent by General Ross remained silent. Unfortunately, it appears that you are about to lose your precious daughter, General Ross. Loathing looked at Rose who had gained nothing, pretended to be regretful, and shook his head slightly. He raised his right hand and slowly tightened it towards General Ross. Save me. Dad save me, I don't want to die. Elizabeth struggled desperately, shouted, her body held by the hatred writhed helplessly in midair. Do not. General Ross saw his eyes tearing apart, seeing his daughter about to die tragically, he cried out heartbreakingly. Stop. A loud shout came from a distance. Hearing the hatred, the continuously tightening fingers stopped. Turning his head to look in the direction of the sound, he revealed a sinister smile. You're finally here, Bruce. Hate was very excited, what he longed for finally appeared. With Bruce's blood, he can complete his own evolution. Yes, evolution. Bronski believes that his current changes belong to the evolution of individual human beings. Let her go, I'll give you my blood. As Bruce walked towards the abomination, he took out a syringe from his arms, and the syringe contained a fresh blood that had just been drawn. Hey, give it to me. Looking at the syringe in Bruce's hand, he couldn't hold back the desire in his body any longer, roared and rushed towards Bruce. Seeing this, Bruce held the syringe in his right hand and threw it away. The syringe rotated and flew towards the distance along a parabolic trajectory. As soon as he let go of his right hand, he threw Elizabeth down and flew towards the syringe. Meanwhile, Bruce immediately ran in Elizabeth's direction as he threw the syringe. While hating the syringe, he managed to hold Elizabeth in his arms. It's finally here. Hate grabbed the syringe with excitement, his eyes full of hunger and thirst. He couldn't wait to pick up the syringe and plunged it into his left arm. Under the push of the syringe, the bright red blood was slowly injected into the abomination's body. Crack it. Hate shook his right hand violently, and he crushed the empty syringe into pieces. Roar. Hate's whole body tensed up and let out a suppressed roar. 
With the injection of Bruce's blood, the left side of the hateful body swelled up as quickly as inflated, becoming as strong as the right side. At the same time, the entire body also grew again, and the body became even bigger. Just as the hatred changed, Bruce hid in the distance with Elizabeth in his arms. At this time, Elizabeth was obviously frightened. It was the first time that she was so close to the threat of death, making her hide in Bruce's arms like a frightened rabbit. Bruce, Bruce. Elizabeth hugged Bruce tightly and kept calling his name. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid, I'm here, I'm here. Bruce stroked Elizabeth's hair gently, whispering softly. Bruce still loves Elizabeth, although some of her actions make Bruce very sad. However, Bruce still feels more guilty for the harm he caused to her in the first place. Bruce Banner, I want to thank you very much. The abomination in the distance completed its transformation and turned to look at Bruce with a ferocious smile. So, please die. Then, he grabbed the nearby tree and threw it fiercely at Bruce. The heavy tree trunk seemed weightless in the hands of the loathing, and with a light throw by him, it flew towards Bruce like a sharp arrow off the string. In just an instant, the tree trunk appeared in front of Bruce. Bruce held Elizabeth in his arms, and there was nowhere to hide. Subconsciously, she turned around and held Elizabeth in her arms, intending to use her back to meet the shooting tree trunk. Seeing that the thick tree trunk was about to hit Bruce, several spherical objects suddenly flew over from a distance. When it hit the tree trunk, there was an explosion, and the powerful power directly blasted the tree trunk into sawdust all over the sky, and it fell from the sky profusely. Who is it? The hatred turned back fiercely, and looked towards the direction where the bomb flew. The powerful power of the bomb surprised Abomination. If he was hit by this bomb head-on, even in terms of his defense, he would inevitably be injured. Ha ha ha, remember my name, Green Goblin. In mid-air, Norman was wearing a Green Goblin suit, hovering above the Abomination's head on a skateboard. Horrific laughter kept coming from his mouth, full of madness and evil. What is hidden under the mask is not only the face, but also the personality. Bruce, who was saved, hadn't had time to be happy, but he found that the person who saved himself and Elizabeth didn't seem to be a good person, and he felt like he had just stepped out of a tiger's den and into a pack of wolves. Li Ang, who was in the distance, knew that Norman had released his evil personality again. However, in this case, the evil personality is indeed more suitable. On the other side, the soldiers of the U.S. Army were all on standby under the order of General Ross. In fact, the development of the matter is a bit beyond the scope of their coping. With an abomination beyond their reach, at a flying geek with high-tech weapons, and the soldiers suddenly feel like all the hard training they've been through has become meaningless. No matter how good the physical fitness is, no matter how superb the shooting skills are, they are useless in the face of this inhuman monster who is not afraid of guns. General Ross saw the reaction of the soldiers. But he also felt helpless, not only hated the powerful force, but also made him wary of his daughter's safety, even the newly appeared, Green Devil, didn't know whether it was an enemy or a friend. The current situation is obviously that the Abomination and the Green Goblin confront each other again, and General Ross dare not easily intervene to break the delicate balance in front of him. The Green Goblin controls the Goblin skateboard, constantly testing around the Abomination. As long as the hatred is not paying attention, a pumpkin bomb will explode on him. Even the body that hates the bones is still burnt black piece by piece. Hey! With a roar of hatred, he grabbed the trees and gravel around him and threw them towards the Green Goblin. But he controlled the Green Goblin's skateboard and dodged them one by one. Facing the advantage of the Green Goblin's flight, the Abomination also found it very difficult. Looking around, his eyes suddenly brightened when he saw the teaching building in the distance. Facing the pumpkin bomb thrown by the Green Goblin again, he turned around and fled. Putting on a look of panic and recklessness, he ran towards the teaching building behind him. With a bang, the hatred crashed directly into the teaching building. The Green Goblin saw it, but stopped outside the hole that the Abomination had knocked out. How could Norman, who is suspicious by nature, just give up his flying advantage and get into the narrow corridor to fight against the Abomination. With a light step on the foot, the Green Goblin skateboard immediately exposed the muzzles of rows of miniature missiles. Amidst the Green Goblin's evil laughter, they poured out toward the hole. 
The abomination hiding in the floor smiled contemptuously. It would be better if the green goblin chased him in, but it would be just as he wanted if he didn't. While the green goblin was bombarding the floor, the abomination took the opportunity to break through the building on the other side, and got out from the other side. However, abomination didn't want to escape, but quickly climbed towards the roof from the other side of the building. Using the cover of the wall, the hate managed to get around to the back of the green goblin, and climbed out on the roof of another teaching building. Looking at the green goblin who was still bombarding the floor in the distance, he hated and smiled ferociously. He casually pulled a pointer from the big clock beside him, and made a gesture to throw it towards the green goblin. Facing the abomination's sneak attack, with his great strength, if the green goblin was hit by this attack, even with the enhancement of the genetic potion, he would not die or be seriously injured. Careful. At this moment, Bruce found the figure of hatred in the distance. Instantly understood the intent of the abomination, and immediately warned the green goblin loudly. Even though the green goblin doesn't look like a good person at first glance, he saved his life and Elizabeth's life after all. Bruce couldn't do it either, watching him being attacked by the abomination without doing anything. As soon as Bruce shouted, the green goblin immediately discovered the abomination hiding in the distance. Immediately realized that he was played by the hatred. While angry, he was also grateful in his heart. If it wasn't for Bruce's reminder, he would have been attacked by the abomination, and he might not have died but would have been seriously injured. Hate. The green goblin roared, turned the skateboard and rushed towards the abomination. Bruce. Facing the green goblin rushing fast, his eyes of hatred were staring at Bruce in the distance. After paying attention to his position with Bruce and the green goblin, the abomination ran to the left. The green goblin turned around, flicked the skateboard under his feet, and continued to fly towards the abomination. With a flick of the wrist, several pumpkin bombs were thrown towards the abomination. The loathing did not dodge or evade, and threw the metal pointer in his hand viciously at the green goblin. Like a razor, the metal pointer spun and slashed towards the green devil. The sharp whistling sound was like the whistle of the god of death, heralding that death was approaching. Facing the oncoming pointer, the green devil stepped on the skateboard and swayed slightly to one side, then dodged past. Ha ha ha, where are you aiming at? The green goblin laughed, mocking the loathing contemptuously. Boom boom boom. Before Abomination could reply, the thrown pumpkin bombs began to explode one after another, and the intense flames enveloped Abomination completely. On the other side, the pointer, which was dodged by the green goblin, flew in the direction of Bruce with an unabated trend. It turned out that when he was discovered by the Green Goblin, the Abomination had already given up its sneak attack plan on him, and instead set its target on Bruce in the distance. That's why the Green Goblin couldn't help but taunt when he found out that this powerful throw was inaccurate. Due to the distance, even though he had been paying attention to the scene of the two Green Devils, Bruce was shocked when he suddenly found the pointer flying in his direction. In fact, Bruce had noticed when the Abomination threw the pointer. However, the performance of the Abomination deceived Bruce, who also believed that the Abomination was an attack on the Green Goblin. When he realized that the pointer was flying towards him and realized that the target of his hatred was him, it was too late. Just as Bruce was trying to summon the Hulk inside, he suddenly felt a push from behind. Bruce was careless, staggered under the pushed foot, and fell to the side. Before he got up, the metal pointer thrown by the abomination had already whizzed and landed behind him. Okay. A muffled hum sounded behind him. It's Elizabeth. Bruce stood up and turned his head to look. Elizabeth had already fallen into a pool of blood, and the flying pointer was directly inserted into her side. The pointer did not directly hit Elizabeth's body, but slanted across her waist. A huge wound appeared on the back of Elizabeth's waist. Under the huge force of the pointer, the whole waist seemed to be bitten off. The wound was as ferocious as a dog's teeth, irregular. Judging from the depth of the wound, the organs in the body may be missing. Such an injury would undoubtedly kill any normal human being. Elizabeth didn't know that Bruce had the ability to transform into Hulk, she chose to sacrifice herself entirely to save Bruce. Bruce got up in a panic, holding Elizabeth's body tightly in his arms. No. Elizabeth, you will be all right. No. Facing Bruce's cry, Elizabeth smiled weakly, 
gently stroked Bruce's cheek with her right hand, and opened her mouth while lying in his arms free of breath. I love you, Bruce. After speaking, his right hand weakly slid down from Bruce's cheek, his body went limp, and he couldn't breathe anymore. Do not. Bruce roared heart piercingly, holding Elizabeth's body tightly in his arms, unwilling to let go for a long time. When General Ross saw that Elizabeth was injured, he ran over directly. After seeing Elizabeth who had lost her breath in Bruce's arms, the grief of the elderly bereaved daughter directly destroyed his sanity. With a curse, he kicked Bruce. Kicked Bruce to the ground fiercely, stretched out his hand and snatched Elizabeth from his arms. My poor daughter. General Ross held Elizabeth in his arms, crying for a while. Bruce was on his side, devastated by Elizabeth's death. He has never hated his incompetence so much, if it wasn't for his so-called, normality, he insisted on locking Hulk up. If he had Hulk powers, Elizabeth wouldn't die either. Bruce kept blaming himself, and fell into a deep grief. Elizabeth. Bruce murmured softly, looking forward with blank eyes. Kill them for me. General Ross growled sharply. With an order, the troops in the distance immediately launched an attack on the Green Goblin and the Abomination. Anger made General Ross no longer have any scruples, and under his orders, all lethal weapons were put into use. Regardless of the damage to the surrounding buildings, just kill the Abomination and the Green Goblin. In an instant, a large amount of artillery fire poured out, covering the entire battlefield of the two. Facing the military attack, the Abomination and the Green Goblin began to evade one after another. Even for them, in the face of the military's attack regardless of cost, they have no choice but to escape. Fierce artillery fire rang out, and Bruce, who was lying on the ground, seemed to have been awakened, and suddenly got up. Vengeance. I want revenge. Bruce roared in a low voice, as if there was an angry flame burning in his eyes, his azure blue pupils turned dark green little by little. The behavior of General Ross woke up Bruce. Instead of being sad for Elizabeth's death now, it would be more enjoyable to kill the enemy. Hulk, give me your power. Bruce closed his eyes, mentally growling at Hulk. It is good. Seemingly sensing the change in Bruce's psychology, Hulk, who had been refusing to communicate with him, agreed to Bruce's request. Or, as Li Ang said, the two are one. After getting Hulk's answer, Bruce clearly felt a power awakening in his body. Moreover, it is different from the feeling of alienation when he turned into Hulk before. This time Bruce could clearly feel the power in his body, and a feeling of commanding him came to his heart. Moreover, the concentration of gamma energy in the body is much higher than ever before. Bruce stepped forward, and as he moved forward step by step, his complexion turned green little by little. With his right hand, he grabbed the clothes on his shoulders, and with a light pull, the clothes were torn off completely. Then, the whole body began to swell rapidly, easily breaking the remaining clothes on his body into pieces, leaving only half of the broken trousers hanging on his body. A different hulk appeared in front of everyone. Higher, stronger and greener. The entire complexion presents a thick dark green. The outrageous anger made Bruce's transformation a step further. Green War Hulk, here we go. When Bruce transformed for the first time, he was able to remain absolutely awake. Feeling the surging power in the body, there is a feeling of omnipotence. However, Bruce clearly told Bruce that this was just an illusion. No matter how powerful a force can do, it can only destroy, and he is still powerless to Elizabeth's death. What's more, Bruce's current power is not free. Just in Bruce's body, Hulk's personality is integrating with him bit by bit. It is the fusion of the two personalities that enables Bruce to transform into the Green Shark. You know, only with enough spiritual power can one be able to control a powerful body. Bruce can clearly feel that Hulk's personality is constantly integrating with himself. When the two finally merged into one, Bruce's personality naturally ceased to exist. Even so, Bruce didn't feel the slightest bit of regret. Powerful power can bring not only destruction, but also revenge. In the distance, looking at Dr. Banner who transformed into the Green War Hulk, Liang was shocked. He was equally surprised by Elizabeth's death. Although he had been paying attention to the changes on the battlefield, Liang did not react to the sudden attack of the abomination. Liang is not worried about Bruce's safety, after all, there is Hulk. Even if temporarily suppressed by drugs, 
Hulk will come forward as long as Bruce's life is in danger. However, what Leon did not expect was that Elizabeth would choose to save Bruce Banner at the risk of her life. It was Elizabeth's act of abandoning herself and going to save Bruce that made Bruce feel very guilty. Mixed with anger at Elizabeth's death, it became the root cause of his transformation. Seeing the Green War Hulk that Dr. Banner transformed into in the distance, Liang couldn't help being excited. Green Shaw Hulk, one of the top combat powers in the Marvel Universe, possesses the so-called strongest body. Thinking of this, Liang could no longer restrain his inner excitement and nervousness. The longing for Green War Hulk's blood, like endless waves, kept churning in his heart, stirring Liang's mind. As a doctor of genetics, Liang understands the magic of genes very well. Liang, who has the spider mark and has mastered multiple transformation forms, clearly understands that the essence of transformation is to change genes. Through the study of his own different transformation forms, Liang has long discovered that the genes of each form are completely different. This also means that the genes of the Green War Hulk are completely new to Liang. That is to say, if Li Ang can get the blood of Hulk and analyze the genes contained in it, he will have a new transformation form. A transformation from the Green War Hulk. Thinking of this, Li Ang couldn't help licking his lips under the mask. With strength in his legs, he bounced up in an instant, and rushed towards Bruce Banner in the distance. Roar. Bruce's dark green pupils locked firmly on the figure of the Abomination, and decisively charged towards the battle circle between the Green Goblin and the Abomination. The belief in revenge drives Bruce, including the Green Devil, who is regarded as the target of revenge by him. It was their battle that caused Elizabeth's death. Even though he knew that Elizabeth's death had nothing to do with the Green Goblin, he still couldn't help the resentment in his heart. At this moment, a group of white spider silk shot over from midair. Bruce raised his hand to block it, and when he took a closer look, a black and red figure landed in front of him. The tall body contained explosive power. Under the tights, there were bulging muscles, which bulged out the spider silk battle suit. In terms of body size, it was only a few sizes smaller than Bruce, but the lines of the whole body appeared smoother, strong but not bloated. Green Poison Spider. Facing Dr. Banner who transformed into the Green Hulk. Liang did not dare to underestimate him at all. Without the slightest chance, he directly transformed into the most powerful green poisonous spider to fight against him. Whether it is the Scarlet Spider or other spider transformations, they cannot effectively resist Hulk's terrifying power. Only the green poisonous spider form, which also has great power and comes from Bruce's blood, can fight against Bruce. Step aside. Seeing Li Ang suddenly appearing in front of him, Bruce said coldly. Although dominated by anger, Bruce has not lost his mind. In terms of size, Li Ang doesn't seem to be easy to deal with. Even with absolute confidence in his own strength, Bruce was unwilling to waste precious time on Li Ang. Before fully merging with Hulk's personality, Bruce just wants to complete revenge. I'm sorry, but you can't come over, at least not until I get what I want. Li Ang rejected Bruce. Then go to die. With that said, Bruce punched Li Ang directly. Without speculation, Bruce decided to use force to solve it. Bang. Sound. Li Ang raised his hands and successfully caught Bruce's fist. How about a deal? Give me a share of your blood, and I can choose to help you. Li Ang is very eager for Bruce's blood in the form of the Green Eternal Hulk. He has a hunch that the blood of the Green Eternal Hulk is definitely a brand new gene sequence unnecessary. Obviously, the angry Bruce has no intention of trading at all. With Bruce's roar, Liang's spider sensor began to issue a violent warning. Liang's heart skipped a beat, and he subconsciously tried to avoid it. Before Liang could make a move, a whistling wind came from below him. Liang only had time to press his hands down when he felt a huge force from his arms towards his body. Boom. With a loud noise, Liang flew upside down. Li Ang still thinks too simply, the strength of the Hulk in green is not comparable to that of Hulk in normal state. Even though he is stronger than the Hulk in the form of a green poisonous spider, the Hulk is still not something he can defeat. Li Ang was not disappointed either. After realizing the gap between the two, he also stopped thinking about defeating Bruce. If the communication fails, the only way to deal with it is to take the opportunity to get a little blood from him. 
However, the green poisonous spider is worthy of being Li Ang's most powerful form. Even if he was kicked severely by the Green War Hulk, there was no particularly serious injury. During the inverted flight, it also took the opportunity to shoot a spider thread towards Bruce, which firmly stuck to Bruce's shoulder. Before Bruce could tear it off, Liang pulled it back hard. With the help of the spider's thread, it directly stopped the backward flying momentum in midair, and instead flew towards Bruce again. Bruce was annoyed for a while, and punched Liang who was flying towards him. As soon as he was about to hit, Liang flipped and landed right behind Bruce following the inertia. Before falling down, the whole figure began to shrink rapidly. At the same time, streaks of black lightning suddenly appeared on Liang's hands. Before Bruce could react, he put his hands on his back. Scarlet Stinger. Liang, who fell behind Bruce, took the opportunity to switch his form and transformed into a Scarlet Spider. Although the Scarlet Spider is good at defense and strength, these two abilities are far from the Green Sha Hulk. The only thing that made Li Ang choose to transform into a Scarlet Spider was the Scarlet Spider's unique neurotoxin. As Li Ang pressed his hands down, the black lightning began to bounce non-stop on Bruce's back, trying to penetrate into his body. Ow! After being attacked by Li Ang from behind, Bruce let out a sharp cry of pain. Facing the lightning-like neurotoxin, even the Green Sha Hulk cannot be completely immune. A kind of scorching pain like a fire kept provoking his nerves. Not only did Bruce not appear to be anesthetized at all, but he became more energetic. This is not because Leon's scarlet toxin doesn't work, it's entirely because of the large amount of gamma energy contained in the Hulk's body. Facing the invasion of the neurotoxin, the gamma energy directly greeted it, and an energy annihilation reaction took place with it. The burning pain Bruce felt was completely caused by the annihilation of energy in his body, not the scarlet toxin. Scarlet toxin is more of a paralyzing effect, but the pain is incidental. Obviously, Liang's plan failed again. The scarlet toxin, which he had high hopes for, did not play its due role. Instead, it was because of the injury and the pain in his body that made Bruce very angry. Regardless of the numbness on his back, Bruce turned around and punched Li Ang hard on the head. Li Ang dodged quickly, not daring to overwhelm him. With a slight jump behind him, he dexterously dodged from Green War Hulk's fist. Although the Scarlet Toxin did not achieve the desired results, Li Ang did not achieve nothing. Raising his right hand, a trace of dark green blood appeared in front of his eyes. The Scarlet Stinger still managed to break through Bruce's defense, and even though it was just a small wound like a needle, he still got a blood sample. Li Ang pulled off the glove, revealing the spider mark on the back of his left hand. Gently smeared the dark green blood of the green shadow hulk on the back of the spider mark. Like a sponge, the trace of dark green blood was immediately absorbed by the spider mark. Resolving, parsing complete. Analysis progress 2%. Li Ang sensed the message from the spider's imprint, and he was overjoyed. It works. The reminder of the spider mark gave Li Ang hope of success. Li Ang was a little relieved that he didn't need to give enough blood samples at once. For Li Ang, it is difficult to defeat Hulk, but it is still possible to injure him. With a shake of his right hand, a ball of spider silk shot towards the building beside him. Relying on the pulling force, Li Ang swayed and walked towards Bruce in a roundabout way. At this time, Bruce was completely angered by Li Ang's behavior, not only because of his unreasonable obstruction, but also because of Li Ang stealing his blood in front of him. The long hunt made Bruce hate all the existences that coveted his blood from the bottom of his heart. No matter who it is, as long as it hits him with ideas, it will make him feel like he is being used. Even if Dr. Lan wanted to use Bruce's blood for research, he ruthlessly refused. Faced with Li Ang's provocation, Bruce decided to get rid of this nasty little bug before taking revenge. Li Ang didn't know that Bruce was so disgusted by his act of absorbing the blood sample of the Hulk. So much so that Bruce actually shifted the target of attack and put the primary target on him. This is because Li Ang made a cognitive error. The Dr. Banner in front of him is not the same person as the Dr. Banner in his memory. And it was Elizabeth's death that had caused Elizabeth's death because the abomination was thirsting for Bruce's blood. The old and new hatred broke out together, making Bruce hate Liang so much. In fact, 
Bruce's anger turned to anger, but he didn't lose his mind. He knew very well in his heart that if Li Ang was not completely repulsed, if he directly joined the battle group, he would face the siege of three people at the same time. The current 1 vs 1 situation is the best choice at present. After he beats Li Ang back, the hatred will inevitably decline after fighting the Green Goblin. At that time, Bruce can still successfully complete his revenge. Li Ang didn't know Bruce's inner thoughts. When he flew behind Bruce, he saw the timing and rushed towards Bruce. However, Bruce was already prepared. Even though Li Ang's figure could not be seen from behind, the attention was always on Li Ang. Facing Li Ang who was rushing towards him, Bruce didn't look back, and kicked towards Li Ang with a roundabout kick. Li Ang cursed secretly, shook and tugged his left hand, and quickly dodged to the left. Hulk can actually kick with a roundabout. This Nima. There are 10,000 grass mud horses galloping in Li Ang's heart, and he couldn't help but call out. After a somersault, Li Ang landed steadily on the tree trunk beside him, and looked towards Bruce. I saw that Bruce was in the same place at this time, posing a Brazilian jiu-jitsu pose. Li Ang was startled, but then he couldn't help but wonder. Facing the Hulk who used fighting skills, Li Ang was indeed taken aback. But thinking about it, that doesn't seem like such a bad thing. It is true that the existence of fighting skills will make a person's fighting power stronger. But it still can't change the fundamental purpose of martial arts is to defeat the strong by the weak. In other words, only when the strength is not enough to crush, you need to use fighting skills. If ordinary attacks can easily defeat the opponent, what reason is there to use skills? Thinking of this, Li Ang transformed into a green poisonous spider again, and tentatively charged towards Green Sha Hulk. Facing Li Ang who was charging head on again, Bruce couldn't tell. He also did not expect that his strength would decline so early. The fusion process of Hulk's personality has just reached about halfway, but the gamma energy in his body has begun to weaken rapidly. Even, Bruce may not be able to maintain the current state of Hulk before the fusion of the two personalities is completed. Carefully perceiving the situation in the body, Bruce found that the problem still appeared on Hulk. It can only be said that the antidote, finally formulated by Dr. Lan is too strong, and the impact on Hulk is too great. Even the Green Shaw Hulk after the fusion of two personalities is still somewhat unable to resist this kind of internal problem. However, the reality did not allow Bruce to think too much, and Li Ang's strong figure had appeared before his eyes again. Without further ado, he just punched him hard. As one of the top combat powers in the Marvel Universe, the Green Shaw Hulk is actually only the strength of the Heavenly Father. Even the Sentinel, who claims to have the power of a million stars, belongs to the level of the Heavenly Father, and it is still under the premise of being able to exert its full strength. The most representative figure of the Heavenly Father class is Odin himself who possesses the power of Odin. In his heyday, he can even destroy the entire galaxy. Compared with the power to destroy a galaxy and the power to have millions of stars, it is clear at a glance. Even the big boss in Marvel movies, Thanos Thanos is nothing more than a sub-celestial father. That's why he had to wait until Odin and Guyi died one after another before choosing to attack the Earth. Of course, after owning the Infinity Gauntlet inlaid with Infinity Gems, the strength of Thanos will also continue to grow stronger with the increase of gems. Heavenly Father level, single universe level, and even the multiverse level strength displayed when all the infinite gems are collected and snapped. As for the Hulk in the regular form, it is planet level strength. As for whether it is a star or a planet, it depends on the specific performance. Facing the sub Tien Father level Thanos, although Hulk has no power to fight back, his life is not in danger. The green poisonous spider transformed by Li Ang has a stronger strength than Hulk in the regular form. It is not impossible to fight against Bruce, who has transformed into the green shadow Hulk, even if he is not an opponent, but just resists Zhou Zan. Coming in front of the Hulk, Li Ang decisively increased the transmission of gamma energy in the spider imprint. If we say that under normal conditions, the delivery rate of gamma energy is between 50.00% and percent. With Li Ang's deliberate mobilization, the delivery rate of gamma energy has reached more than percent. Stimulated by the gamma energy, Li Ang's muscles swelled up again, and his figure soared by three points, and he didn't give in to the Hulk's size. 
Huge power brought about physical changes, but it was also accompanied by huge pain. Liang, who directly increased the transmission rate of gamma energy, also felt uncomfortable. The large amount of gamma energy contained in his body kept impacting his body. As if being crushed under a hydraulic pressure machine, Liang felt that his whole body, whether it was bones or muscles, was screaming in pain. The whole body is like an inflated balloon, which may explode anytime and anywhere. In order not to let his body explode, Liang had no choice but to vent out. Raising his right hand, he punched Green War Hulk hard, and smashed it hard. Facing Li Ang's attack, Bruce also clenched his fist and went straight up. Boom. There was a loud noise, and the force from the collision of two terrifying bodies caused an air explosion on the spot. Block it. No longer dodging, nor being repulsed, Li Ang really took the punch from the Green Ward Hulk. Although there are reasons for the increase in Li Ang's power, it can also be felt that the power of the Green Shadow Hulk has begun to weaken. After confirming his inner guess, Liang also felt relieved. Even his percent power burst state can only be used for a short time. But it is still possible to grit your teeth and persevere. Now let's see who can't hold on first. He endured the pain in his body that was about to explode, as well as the tingling pain from his right arm. Liang gritted his teeth and shook his fist at Bruce again. Feeling the sudden surge of power in Li Ang's hands, Bruce was also shocked. The sudden problem with his transformation was not what he expected. Seeing Li Ang, who was becoming more difficult in front of him, Bruce couldn't help worrying about time. Just like what Li Ang said, whoever can't hold on first will lose. Roar. The situation cannot be compromised, and Bruce roared and began to squeeze his body frantically. Try to get rid of Li Ang before the power of Hulk disappears. Boom. A laser cannon suddenly blasted down from the sky, and happened to land between Liang and Bruce. The two stagnated, and turned their heads to look towards the sky. Hey big man, are you an exhibitionist? And you, that's right, you pervert in black, don't think that I won't recognize you when you grow bigger. Who like to steal people's underwear? A golden red steel suit hovered in midair, and Tony's chattering voice kept coming from inside. It turned out that Tony had already noticed the situation here when the military was arresting the abomination. It's just that because of the military, it's not convenient for him to make a move, so he can only keep an eye on the developments here through satellites. However, with the successive appearances of the Green Goblin and the Green Hulk, Tony couldn't help but want to come to the scene to see what happened. After all, until he found out about hating the Hulk, he always thought he was the only one who said it was special. Unexpectedly, there are not only monsters like Abomination and Hulk, but also, similars, like him who arm themselves with technology like the Green Goblin. Tony could no longer restrain the excitement that came from deep in his heart, and flew towards Corvo University wearing his beloved steel suit. Moreover, with the appearance of Li Ang, Tony's emotions were completely ignited. Scarlet Spider. Seeing the appearance of the culprit who made him feel ashamed, Tony decided to ask for an explanation for himself. Tony. Why is he here? And, when did I steal his underwear? Li Ang was full of doubts in his heart, and he was very puzzled by Tony's appearance. Mr. Perverted Man in Black, we have to settle our accounts. Tony didn't want to give Li Ang time to think, so he just raised his hand and greeted Li Ang with a cannonball. The laser just now was just for greeting, now Tony is going to do it for real. Facing Tony's shelling, Liang had no choice but to retreat. Originally, he was at a disadvantage against the Hulk, but if Tony assisted him, Liang would only face failure. Facing Tony's attack, Liang jumped back, avoiding the missile, and at the same time distanced himself from Lu Shanghao. While Liang was held back by Tony, Bruce turned around and ran in the direction of hatred. His time was running out. With Bruce's exit, Liang also released the green poisonous spider's transformation, and appeared in front of Tony again in the form of a scarlet spider. Facing Liang's familiar figure, Tony rushed up in anger, and was baptized by a burst of gunfire, vowing to let Liang taste the feeling of being beaten unconscious, stripped of his clothes and thrown on the street. As a well-known public figure, a famous playboy, and the owner of Stark Industries, Tony couldn't stand this grievance. While avoiding Tony's attack, Liang evenly smeared the blood sample collected from Bruce during the battle on the spider mark. 
As the spider imprint absorbs the blood of the Green Hulk, the progress of the interpretation of the Green Hulk's genes is also constantly improving. 8%, 16%, 24%. In the end, the progress of the spider mark's interpretation of the Hulk's gene stayed at 36%. Blood, no more. Li Ang became a little anxious when he discovered that the power of the Green Shadow Hulk had begun to weaken. After all, no one knows when the next time they want to meet such an opportunity after missing this opportunity. That's why, just now, Li Ang gritted his teeth and chose to fight head to head with Green Shadow Hulk. In order to be able to trade injuries for injuries, and to collect more blood of Green War Hulk. What are you hiding from? Is it because you are so ugly that you don't have the face to wear a mask? In the air, Tony kept chasing Li Ang's figure with cannon fire, and kept sneering and sarcastic. Li Ang was speechless. Tony's steel battle suit obviously also has a mask, which is still made of metal, with a gold titanium alloy iron skin face. It happened that after absorbing the blood, Li Ang finally freed his hands and decided to teach Tony a lesson. Li Ang approached the big tree and ran under it. While avoiding the missile, he waved his right hand backwards, and a ball of spider silk was firmly stuck to the tree trunk. After running for a certain distance, Li Ang pulled the spider silk in his hand hard, and with the force from the tree trunk behind him, it swung into the air. While avoiding the laser cannon fired by Tony, the distance between the two was also shortened. Following the force from the spider's thread, Li Ang turned around and rushed towards Tony who was in the air. Facing the approaching Li Ang, Tony quickly stopped in midair, turned around and hid behind him. Where did Li Ang let Tony escape? With a flick of his wrist, two balls of spider silk shot towards Tony. Tony dodged one ball, but was firmly stuck to the right leg of the steel suit by another ball of spider silk. Oh. Tony cursed secretly, looking at the spider silk sticking to his right leg, the feeling of deja vu gave Tony a bad premonition. Before Tony could react, a huge force was transmitted from his right leg. Familiar method, familiar strength, Tony suddenly thought of that unfriendly experience. Pulled by Li Ang, Tony flew towards the ground uncontrollably. Seeing that he was about to plunge headfirst into the ground, Tony suddenly broke free from the shackles of the spider silk on his legs and regained control of his body. The steel suit jerked upwards, narrowly avoiding the tragedy of hitting the ground with its head. Li Ang looked towards Tony in the air, and saw the burnt traces of the spider silk on the right leg of the metal suit on his body. It turned out that after the first battle with Li Ang, Tony, who was humiliated, regarded Li Ang as an imaginary enemy and prepared for it. At any time, Li Ang was ready to play another round, so as to wash away the humiliation left on him. For this reason, Tony also specially made targeted responses to Li Ang's special spider silk that can attack and retreat. The battle suit he is wearing now, all the main parts of the torso, have been added a layer of rapid heat dissipation device by Tony. The purpose is to be able to break free quickly when accidentally caught by Li Ang's spider thread, so as not to lose the ability to resist. Hey, how about it, there is no way. Tony flew in the air, smiling triumphantly. Facing the well-prepared Tony, Li Ang couldn't help but lose his eyes. On the other hand, Bruce forcibly joined the battle group of the Green Goblin and the Abomination. Ignoring the Green Goblin in the air, grabbing the Abomination is like pounding. This made the Green Goblin very unhappy, feeling like his prey was being robbed. The Green Goblin in this state is not a kind person. He grabbed a few pumpkin bombs and threw them at Bruce and the Abomination. Boom boom boom. Violent explosions continued one after another, directly covering Bruce and the hatred. Ha 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 ha, enjoy my hospitality. The Green Goblin laughed wildly, hovering over Bruce and the Abomination. This pissed Bruce off completely. Originally, he had some resentment towards the Green Goblin, but now he has another reason to attack him. After knocking the Abomination into the air with one punch, Bruce turned around and quickly climbed up the building next to him. Then, kicking his legs hard, he rushed towards the Green Devil fiercely. The huge palm opened like a cattail fan, enveloping the Green Goblin in its entirety. The Green Goblin is crazy, but not stupid. Facing Bruce's counterattack, he had no intention of taking it head on. After discovering Bruce's intentions, they had to distance themselves immediately. However, it was still a bit late. Crack. A crisp sound. 
the skateboard under the green devil's feet was actually broken off by Bruce abruptly. Crackling. A burst of sparks flew, and the skateboard under Norman's feet became poor contact in an instant. Even high-tech products cannot work if the parts are damaged. The entire skateboard seemed to be out of order, spinning and falling from the sky. Ah. A panicked cry came from Norman's mouth. It turned out that when the Green Devil discovered that the skateboard was malfunctioning, he directly returned the control of his body. Norman, who has been watching the Green Goblin fight in his body, is also stunned when faced with the sudden behavior of his negative personality. Before he had time to react, he fell hard to the ground along with the Green Goblin skateboard. Surrounding Norman's body after being strengthened by the Green Goblin potion, it was too much for him to be dropped suddenly. Norman felt as if all the internal organs in his body had been thrown and shifted, and his whole body felt a little sore. The bones of the whole person seemed to be falling apart, and it was very difficult to move as if the body was rusted. Norman struggled to get up from the ground, but before he could get up, a shadow hung over his head. It's cool to drop a bomb, isn't it? Norman looked up, and the green and green Hulk's big ugly green face appeared in front of his eyes, and he smiled ferociously at him. Do you believe me when I say I didn't do it? Norman's heart skipped a beat in fright, and he twitched the corners of his mouth stiffly. Roar. Of course Bruce didn't believe it. He roared angrily, and raised his hands to hit Norman hard. At this moment, a purple projectile suddenly shot over from a distance. With a, bang, it bumped into the face of Hulk. The violent impact caused the projectile to burst instantly, and the lavender powder wrapped inside covered Green Hulk's face all at once. Cough cough. Bruce inhaled subconsciously, and directly sucked a large mouthful of powder into his nasal cavity, which made him cough uncontrollably. Norman, who found that he had escaped, let out a long breath, and took the opportunity to get up from the ground. This is. Suddenly, Bruce, who was coughing, changed his face and raised his head abruptly. The dark green pupils are full of complex emotions, anger, sadness, regret, so complex that it is impossible to interpret them one by one. Bruce smiled bitterly as he felt the strength rapidly fading from his body. He already guessed who sent the projectile just now. Except for Dr. Lan, no one can deploy such a powerful and fast inhibitor, not even Liang. Although long ago, he had already made trouble because of his blood problem. But Bruce didn't expect that Dr. Stern would choose to treat himself like this. With a strong grief of being betrayed, Bruce let the drone flying in the distance begin to draw blood from his body. Since you want my blood, I will give it to you, and we will never owe each other again from now on. Bruce felt resentful. Hulk became weaker and weaker as the powder was inhaled. Bruce had no choice but to support his drowsy body, trying to maintain the transformed state. Soon, the drone on his body was about to leave after drawing blood. Three dark green blood samples hung steadily under the drone, and Dr. Lan, who was hiding in the dark, turned his head down and flew towards the distance under the control of Dr. Lan. At this moment, a black and red figure rushed out from a distance, and grabbed the drone in the air. Seeing that the drone was about to be successfully intercepted by Li Ang, a blue ray shot from a distance. The spider sensor instantly issued an early warning, reminding Li Ang that the power of the rays should not be underestimated. Li Ang didn't dare to be careless, and chose to dodge the sensory warning. At the same time, with a flick of his right wrist, a ball of spider silk accurately stuck to the drone. Li Ang pulled it hard, only to hear a, click, and a blood sample fell down. Li Ang stretched out his left hand and caught it accurately in his palm. Putting away the blood sample in his hand, Liang looked up into the distance. A strange man with blue skin and a huge head, who looked like he grew up drinking Sanlu milk powder, appeared in front of Liang. Dr. Blue. Dr. Lan, who had been peeping in the dark for a long time, finally chose to show up. In the distance, the abomination and the green goblin just got up from the ground in a state of embarrassment. Green Eternal Hulk stood firmly on the spot under Bruce's strong support. Li Ang stood not far in front of Bruce, holding the blood sample of Green Eternal Hulk, and looked towards Dr. Lan. Dr. Lan held a strange gun in his hand, the muzzle of the gun was vaguely facing the crowd, and he slowly retracted the drone. At this time, Tony, who was trapped by Li Ang, also flew over from a distance, stopped in the air, and looked at the people below vigilantly with his eyes. 
All of a sudden, a small Corvo school unexpectedly gathered six people with superpowers. There are more or less intricate relationships with each other, and the whole scene suddenly became deadlocked. Liang looked around, and suddenly found that the six people had five forces. Except for him and Norman, everyone is fighting on their own, which is really chaotic. After the blood sample was obtained, Liang had no reason to stay any longer. He gestured to Norman, raised his right hand, and a group of spider threads firmly stuck to the distant building. With a strong pull, the whole person immediately flew up. At the same time, Norman, who received Li Ang's signal, also took the opportunity to jump up. It happened to collide with the spider silk that Li Ang shot towards him, and was carried away by Li Ang towards the distance. Hey! Dr. Leon, are you leaving just like that? Tony followed in his steel suit, probing behind Liang. However, Liang didn't look back, and ignored Tony's harassment. Seeing this, Tony no longer insisted. Looking forward to meeting you again. Tony chuckled and paused in the air. Tony, who had already talked with Fury, had a certain change in his views on superpowers. Although Liang is not a good person, he is not an absolute bad person either. Although he fights, robs, and is a pervert, Tony knows that he is a good girl, er, boy. The gathering of six superpowers also made Tony let go of his pride and began to think about the feasibility of forming the Avengers Alliance that Fury said. And Li Ang was his first target. Not only in terms of personal strength but also character, Li Ang is a more suitable candidate. Moreover, Li Ang also has the little follower of the Green Devil, and he has two superpowers at once. Other than that, Tony really couldn't find a suitable candidate. The only hopeful Bruce Banner is an unstable bomb. After watching Leon and the Green Devil leave, Tony returned to Corvo University again. Roar. Hearing a roar, before Tony landed, he saw Bruce transformed into the Green Death Hulk, and even broke the neck of the abomination. Hate. Die. Wow, that's brutal. Tony let out a strange cry in midair. Bruce raised his head and gave Tony a hard look, but he didn't do anything. Instead, he turned and walked away with a sad face. Although revenge is avenged, people die but cannot be resurrected. The disheartened Bruce could no longer maintain the transformation of the Hulk. As he turned and left, his figure began to shrink slowly, and even his dark green complexion faded rapidly. However, unexpectedly, Bruce did not return to the normal human form, but remained in the most basic Hulk transformation stage. Bruce came to General Ross, looked at Elizabeth lying in his arms, slowly stretched out his right hand, and gently touched her cheek. Snapped. A crisp sound. Before Bruce's fingers touched Elizabeth, General Ross slapped Bruce's hand aside. Go away, you monster, don't touch my daughter. At this time, General Ross is like a wounded old lion, and he intends to go all out with anyone. Surprisingly, the Hulk, who was treated like this, didn't even mean to be angry. In other words, the Hulk in front of him is still Bruce. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hulk looked at Ross with an apologetic expression, full of guilt. No matter what the process is, Elizabeth died to save Bruce after all. Get out. I don't need your apology. General Ross roared angrily, as if he would explode in the next second. Hulk, lowered his head in frustration, turned around and ran fiercely, and fled towards the distance. General Ross looked at Bruce's leaving back, his lips moved slightly, and he didn't know what to say. Boom. But for a moment, three armed helicopters flew over from a distance. Even higher in the sky, there were two fighter jets roaring past. The military people are finally here. Seeing the end of the matter, Tony didn't stay too long, and left immediately in the steel suit. As for Dr. Lan, he had already disappeared before he knew it. I don't know if I really went back completely, or if I hid in the dark, waiting for something. At least Tony hasn't seen him since he came back. Otherwise, it might be possible to chat for a few words, although Tony doesn't like Dr. Lan's behavior of a villain hiding in the dark from the bottom of his heart. In a blink of an eye, the six superpowers left one after another. No. There is still one left, although it is dead. The military doesn't care about the hate, as long as it belongs to them. Of course, it would be best if the other five alive belong to them too. It's just that they also know that this is just wishful thinking. If nothing else, Iron Man Tony Stark couldn't have belonged to them. 
However, it is not Iron Man's superhero identity that protects him, but his Tony Stark identity. As for the others, some don't know their identities, some don't know where they are, and some have been arrested and never stopped resisting. It is for this reason that the military has been eager to create its own super soldiers. Even if there is such a thing as hatred, it is not enough to dispel the military's thinking. Facing the messy battlefield, the first order the soldiers received was to take away the loathsome corpse. Just as they started to lift it, a drone just flew over. A display screen is firmly hung under the drone, and a line of text appears on it. I can help you mass produce, abominations. The soldiers looked at each other in blank dismay, and finally the captain reacted first and opened the intercom on his shoulder. Sir, I need you to come over here. Dash 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 dash. Early the next morning, when Li Ang turned on the TV, there were overwhelming reports of the battle that took place at Corvo University yesterday. Although the military has spared no effort to cover it up, the appearance of the two behemoths, the Hulk and the Abomination, is enough to attract the attention of curious people. What's more, there is Li Ang who can transform back and forth and switch forms, and the Green Devil who is flying around in the sky on a skateboard. Following the battle in Corvo University, it was uploaded on the internet by students who are not afraid of death. A large number of media newspapers immediately took action in order to obtain first-hand information. The battle of the four superpowers, coupled with the military's intervention, completely ignited the enthusiasm of all the media. Countless paparazzi and journalists who are not afraid of death have sneaked into Corvo University to film. Even with the military's obstruction, they still took pictures of the whole incident intermittently. The appearance of Tony's transformed Iron Man brought the whole incident to a climax. You know, Iron Man himself is the darling of many media newspapers, and there will never be a shortage of topics about him. Moreover, he is also the first superhero to appear in front of people, and people are full of expectations for the appearance of Iron Man. However, it was disappointing. Relying on the sufficient firepower of the steel suit, Tony bombarded Liang all the way. In the end, it didn't cause any harm to Liang. He dodged all the attacks one by one, and Liang took the opportunity to counterattack a few times. With comparison, there is naturally a gap. There was no choice before, but now there are four options at once. Tony's aura is no longer enough to win the favor of the masses, but Li Ang's calmness, coldness and strength are even more loved by rebellious young men and women. Moreover, as the battle images are known to more and more people. For the first time because of a photo, the image of, perverted black masked man, left by Li Ang was selectively forgotten by the audience. Anyway, it's Tony who is ashamed. The poisonous spider is so handsome and cool, how could it be a pervert? Even if he did it, there must be a reason. Li Ang successfully reversed his image in the hearts of the citizens, and at the same time, the title of Poisonous Spider has also been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Although there are still many media that report Li Ang as a super criminal. However, many people who pursue good looks have become fans of Poisonous Spiders. There are even merchants who are not afraid of death, and they already want to talk to Li Ang about the issue of portrait rights and advertising costs. As for the Green Devil and the Green Hulk, they were all selectively ignored by people. One is because the mask is too ugly, and the other is because it is really ugly. And Dr. Lan, who appeared at the end, was really ignored. Li Ang was also very surprised by Dr. Lan's appearance. After all, the existence of Leon has changed the original trajectory of Bruce's life. But, surprisingly, whether it is the Abomination or Dr. Lan, each created their own birth in their own way. I don't know whether it is due to fate or the necessity of personal choice. Boom boom boom. There was a sudden rhythmic knock on the door. Come in. Li Ang turned off the TV and turned to look at the door of the office. With a click, Norman opened the door and walked in. Hi, Leon. Norman greeted him enthusiastically, but Li Ang's attention was not on him at all. I saw that a Russian blonde beauty with a hot figure walked into Li Ang's office after Norman. Oh. Let me introduce you. This is your new secretary. After the previous one was fired by you, I recruited a full-time secretary for you. Noticing Li Ang's expression, Norman smiled triumphantly. How is it, do you like it? As he spoke, Norman showed a strange smile that men could understand. Li Ang gave him an angry look. 
you should hurry up and prepare for the press conference of the flight suit. Okay, okay, Norman pouted, my poor, hard-working life. Saying that, he gave Li Ang a funny smile, turned and walked out of the office. When going out, don't forget to close the door of the office. Li Ang watched Norman leave, and turned to look at the beautiful secretary standing beside him. From the beginning to the end, the newly recruited beautiful secretary stood there motionless. It was as if Li Ang and Norman were discussing someone else, completely unaffected. Introduce yourself, Li Ang said in an orderly tone. Romanov, Natasha Romanov. Natasha replied calmly, acting like a professional work assistant. However, Leon knew that Natasha was an agent from S.H.I.E.L.D., a dangerous person known as the, Black Widow. Very well, Romanov, I hope you don't make some low-level mistakes like your predecessors, do you understand? Li Ang leaned forward, stared at Natasha meaningfully and said. Relax, sir. Natasha acted very indifferent, as if she really only appeared here for work reasons, and she had no interest in Li Ang. Li Ang didn't mind either. The first time he saw Natasha, he had already thought about what kind of gift he would prepare for her. In addition, sir, here is your appointment application, I hope you can take a look. Natasha quickly entered the working state, and immediately took out an application from the work folder in her arms, and put it in front of Li Ang's desk. Phil. Coulson. Li Ang fell into silence for a while. Is this a combination of light and darkness? In Li Ang's impression, it seems that only Iron Man Tony Stark has this kind of treatment. Moreover, after Cole failed, Natasha was sent out in order to get close to Tony. How come to Li Ang, two senior agents are sent directly? This made Li Ang feel flattered. However, Li Ang remained silent on the surface. Homeland Strategic Defense Attack and Logistics Support Agency. Li Ang raised his eyebrows, what does this department do? Natasha, our company doesn't seem to have any investment in this area, does it? Li Ang acted like a scientific researcher who was concentrating on experiments, unkind and ignorant of common sense. This is also the image that Li Ang has shaped to the outside world. Don't participate in activities, ignore the world, and concentrate on scientific research and invention. Mr. Li Ang may have misunderstood. This department is not the Land Resources Administration. Although Li Ang's performance was very different from ordinary people, Natasha did not doubt it. The contact with Li Ang was mainly because of some of his inventions. The spider silk suit, the spider web catcher, and the flying suit he and Dr. Norman completed together. All of these equipment appeared in the Corvo incident that happened yesterday. This has to make people suspect that the Osborne group has something to do with the two parties involved in this incident. As the pillar of the Osborne group's scientific research strength, Dr. Li Ang was naturally their priority observation target. Although Tony has always emphasized that Li Ang is a poisonous spider, others are still conservative. The reason is similar to the attitude towards Tony. The other party's social status is too high, and it is difficult for all parties to make a move unless they admit it personally. Therefore, one of Natasha's tasks is to find out Li Ang's true identity. Regardless of whether Li Ang is a poisonous spider or not, at least after having a definite answer, S.H.I.E.L.D. will take the initiative in contacting Li Ang. As for the other task, it is also the most important one. It was the, spider potion, invented by Li Ang. As early as when the spider silk suit was released, news had spread that the spider silk suit released by the Osborne group was a series of products. There are many other equipments that are matched with it, and the spider web launcher that has been displayed by the poisonous spider is one of them. Another core piece of equipment is the, spider potion. Like the, super soldier potion, it is a magical potion that strengthens the functions of the human body. It is also because of this that S.H.I.E.L.D. suspects that the poisonous spider may be a super soldier created by the Osborne group. Work for the Osborne Corporation is a way to get some special resources they want. In addition, I heard that Dr. Norman also invented a similar physical enhancement drug. It just seems to have some kind of defect, which has been completely blocked. As for Coulson's appearance, it was the assistance arranged by S.H.I.E.L.D. If the contact with Li Ang goes well, you can continue. If it doesn't go well, it can be used to cover Natasha. I have to say that S.H.I.E.L.D.'s plan is perfect. However, what they didn't know was that Li Ang had a clear understanding of their situation. 
Facing the enemy's intelligence disadvantage, what they can see is destined to be what Liang wants them to see. Isn't it? Liang frowned in doubt, then refused. Liang directly pushed back Coulson's application for an appointment. Okay, sir, I'll let him know what you mean. Natasha remained expressionless after seeing it, and was unmoved by Li Ang's refusal of Coulson's appointment. This is also the basic quality of an agent. However, Natasha knew in her heart that if this situation persisted, it would be difficult for her to obtain information about Li Ang. Naturally, he couldn't complete his own secret mission. Thinking of this, Natasha decided to help Coulson. In this way, open the situation. Natasha's appearance was just an episode. She did not affect Li Ang's life, but instead helped him a lot at work. This is exactly Natasha's brilliance, showing value, turning active approach into passive need. At least, that's how Tony put Natasha next to him. Regarding the existence of Natasha, Li Ang did not make any special changes. Still still step by step, doing what he wanted to do. For example, make an appointment with Dr. Blue. Li Ang has always kept in touch with Dr. Lan as Black. After all, Mr. Black's identity is still a secret to Dr. Lan. Even Stern, who has transformed into Dr. Lan, still will not refuse to communicate with Mr. Black. On the contrary, because of his infinitely magnified thirst for knowledge, he is even more eager to communicate with smart people in order to obtain more knowledge. The meeting place was chosen in Dr. Lan's laboratory. Hello, Dr. Stern, let me introduce myself, I am, a poisonous spider. Li Ang sat across from Dr. Lan, and straight to the point revealed his identity. Hey hey, Dr. Lan did let out a series of weird laughs, I thought you wouldn't admit it. With a huge head on his head, Stern looked at Li Ang playfully. How could it be? Li Ang smiled, hiding your identity is just to avoid unnecessary troubles. When you meet a, friend, naturally you have to use your real identity. Friend. Dr. Lan raised his eyebrows, I don't remember that we are friends. We may not be, but Mr. Blue and Mr. Black are. Li Ang smiled, and continued, besides, it's not now, but it doesn't mean it won't be in the future. You also got the blood of the Green Eternal Hulk, how about it, can't you use it at all? Hearing Li Ang's question, Dr. Lan finally responded. What, do you have a solution? Dr. Lan was a little excited, and his strong thirst for knowledge began to torture his spirit again. After getting the blood of the Green Hulk transformed by Bruce, Dr. Lan began to carry out biological cultivation. However, unlike the blood samples of Bruce and Hulk, Hulk's blood is extremely poisonous. Bruce's blood is the safest, and Hulk's blood is highly toxic, but it can still be used after attenuation. Only the blood of the Green Shaw Hulk contained too much toxicity, no creature could bear it. In fact, Dr. Lan now has no shortage of second-generation samples of Bruce's blood. He successfully cultivated a large number of Bruce's blood samples and the more advanced Hulk blood samples by collecting the blood left by Bruce on the laboratory bench. If it is only used for research, the quantity is enough. However, knowing that there is another blood of a higher level, Dr. Lan really can't help himself not to think about the possibility of this blood. At this time, after hearing Li Ang's words, Dr. Lan suddenly reacted. The person in front of him is a doctor of genetics who is more powerful than himself. Drive Li Ang, tell me, you must have some way to suppress the toxicity in the blood, just like suppressing Hulk back then, right? Dr. Lan looked at Li Ang expectantly. Unfortunately, no. Li Ang shook his head, because it's not poisonous. Dr. Lan hadn't had time to feel lost, but because of Li Ang's words, his hope was rekindled. You should have injected yourself with Hulk's blood to become what you are now. Then you should know that what you thought was the toxicity in Hulk's blood is the energy that changes your body's genes. In other words, the intense toxicity in Hulk's blood is what makes you strong. That's not poison, that's power. Dr. Lan was silent. It's not that he didn't understand this truth. As someone who has personally experienced Hulk's blood transformation, it is indeed as Liang said. It was the substance called, toxin, in Hulk's blood that transformed his genes and made him what he is now. If he couldn't make it through at that time, it is likely that his genes collapsed and died under the action of the, toxicity, in Hulk's blood. The way to use the blood of Green War Hulk is actually very simple, 
just make the genetic sequence strong enough to withstand the transformation of blood, toxicity. The more he understood this, the more disappointed Dr. Lan felt. Because he has tried it, he knows how terrifying the toxin in the blood of the Green Evil Hulk is. Are you planning to give up? Li Ang was aggressive on purpose. What a joke. How could I give up? Dr. Stern is stubborn in his own right, even more so after transforming into Dr. Blue. The endless desire for knowledge kept torturing him, and it also kept making him stronger. With a strengthened brain, Dr. Lan's intellectual strength has absolutely unlimited potential. So, do you want to cooperate with me? Li Ang narrowed his eyes. Ha ha ha, Dr. Lan laughed loudly. I'm sorry, Li Ang, I'm already a member of the military. As Dr. Lan said, he took out an epaulette from his pocket, showing the rank of lieutenant colonel on it. It seems that Dr. Lan has found a place to live. After Li Ang saw it, his expression was normal, as if he was not surprised at all. Then congratulate Dr. Stern first, Li Ang congratulated, then, this will be given to Dr. Stern as a gift. Li Ang said, and took out a small glass test tube from his arms, which contained a tube of green liquid. This is the blood of the green devil that has been strengthened twice, and it was drawn by Li Ang from Norman who was fused with Hulk's blood. It is perfect to use this as the bait to attract Dr. Lan. After putting down the blood sample, Li Ang left Dr. Lan's laboratory and returned to his residence. He wasn't worried about whether his meeting with Dr. Lan was monitored or not. It's not that Li Ang is sure that he is not being watched, but that he doesn't care if he will be exposed. He dared to reveal his identity directly to Dr. Lan, so he was not afraid that his identity would be known by S.H.I.E.L.D. Natasha obviously did not expect that Li Ang would directly admit that he was a poisonous spider. After hearing the conversation between Li Ang and Dr. Lan through the monitoring device, Natasha suddenly found that Coulson's task seemed to be completed. As for her own task, she has already successfully completed half of it. As for the other half, it will depend on her own efforts. Now that Li Ang has admitted his identity, the only way to get the spider potion and the research data of the potion is by, outsmarting. If you go directly to grab it, let alone the consequences of tearing your face, Natasha is very sure that she can't beat Li Ang. Taking advantage of Li Ang's absence, Natasha decided to take a chance. Through the identity of Li Ang's assistant, Natasha easily entered Li Ang's office. When he came to the bookcase behind Li Ang's desk, he fumbled with his hands. When he touched a certain book, there was a sudden pause, and his groping stopped. Grabbing the book with his right hand, he pulled it down forcefully, only to hear a series of, click, click, and the entire bookcase turned into a revolving door, flipping open, revealing the hidden space behind. Natasha smiled confidently. She discovered this kind of pediatric mechanism as early as the first day of work. Pushing open the revolving door, Natasha walked in easily, and pushed back the bookcase behind her. The whole office was back to normal again, as if no one had been there at all. Li Ang was sitting in the car, and what was displayed on the car monitor was the scene of Natasha entering the secret room just now. It's not that Natasha hasn't checked the monitoring equipment in Li Ang's office. As a professional agent, Natasha doesn't make such low-level mistakes again. The point is, this monitoring device will move by itself, which is very troublesome. Spider Eyes. A cyborg biological spider, controlled and monitored by implanted electronics. Putting it in a fixed place is better than any high-tech monitoring equipment. At least, in the face of a top agent like Natasha, it has not been dismantled, which shows its value. However, because of the difficulty of manufacturing, Liang did not manufacture a large number of them, and only placed a few in a few key places. As Natasha entered the secret room, the screen on the monitor flickered and then switched over. The current picture comes from another spider's eye. Because of the implanted machinery, the spider's eyes can communicate with each other. Obviously, the spider eye outside has already handed over the task of monitoring Natasha. After receiving the task, the eyes of the spider in the secret room also moved immediately. Crawling around on the ceiling of the secret room, closely following behind Natasha. After entering the secret room, Natasha also became vigilant. Although the mechanism at the entrance of the secret room is very crude in her opinion, the situation in the secret room is still unknown to her. Natasha will never take it lightly. 
What's more, the environment and equipment in the secret room seem to be several levels higher, and the overall look is very technological. With silver metal walls and blue and white automatic lights, the secret room is not as simple as Natasha thought. Because, there is no door here. Yes, the whole chamber of secrets is really just a chamber of secrets. There is nothing inside, it looks like a gorgeous storage room has been built behind the bookcase. Of course, Natasha would not think that this place is really a storage room. Natasha doesn't think anyone would do such a boring thing, except Tony Stark. Natasha began to grope again and again, trying to find clues through the sound and observation of the walls of the surrounding secret room. Sadly, there's really nothing wrong with the surrounding walls. Although Liang is not as boring as Stark, this secret room is really just a storage room. After Natasha searched unsuccessfully for a while, she couldn't help but fell into deep doubts. Is it really a mistake? Or is Leon as boring as Stark? Natasha stood in the middle of the secret room, talking to herself in doubt. She searched the entire room, checked the surrounding walls and floors, and found no problems. Even the light tubes on the wall were removed by her and installed back again. Looking at the clueless Natasha in the secret room, Liang shook his head amusedly, such a cute black widow is rare. Suddenly, Natasha suddenly raised her head and looked towards the ceiling. Liang's monitoring screen shook for a while, but Spider-Eye was startled and quickly hid. When the picture stabilized, Natasha had already appeared not far from Spider's eye. Natasha actually climbed up. I saw that Natasha stretched out a pair of gloves, and after putting them on, she lay down on the wall next to her. Then, it slowly climbed up like a gecko. Step by step, he soon touched the ceiling. Relying on the advantage of its size, Spider-Eye hid in the shadow of the nearby light, carefully monitoring Natasha's behavior. It turned out that Natasha suddenly discovered that there was a problem with the height of the entire secret room. Liang's office is set up on the top floor of the Osborne building. The height of the entire office is more than 5 meters, which is very spacious and grand. However, since entering the secret room, the height of the entire secret room is only centimeters higher than the height of the bookcase. And more than half of the height is missing. Because it was the top floor, Natasha didn't react for a while. After all, the height of the top floor is not the same as that of the lower floors, and the height of the entire floor is uniform. For the top floor, there will be different heights due to different roof buildings. However, thinking about it now, this was just a reasonable smoke bomb. After discovering Li Ang's design, Natasha decisively chose to look for a breakthrough from the ceiling. Through the absorption of gloves and knee pads, Natasha crawled around on the ceiling like this. On the way, he even climbed directly above the spider's eye, allowing Li Ang to appreciate the beautiful scenery from the hills to the plains. As the spider's eyes adjusted their direction, they didn't even miss the plump peaches behind them. Faced with this kind of welfare, Liang decided to give the spider eye a promotion and a salary increase as soon as he came back. Clap. Just as Liang was thinking wildly, Natasha suddenly opened a passage on the ceiling. A one-meter square hole appeared on the roof, and the removed ceiling was bolted aside. On the back of the ceiling is a row of metal escalators designed for climbing. Natasha obviously didn't need this kind of thing, she grabbed the edge of the passage with both hands, flipped somersault, and the whole person got in. Li Ang looked at it and laughed. The prey is in the net. Clap. A soft sound. Natasha fell all over. The moment Natasha entered the passage, the effect of gravity seemed to be reversed. Natasha stood up, looked up and saw a square hole appeared in the ceiling. That's the way she came in. Natasha came in through the hole in the ceiling, which is still in the ceiling. Although there seems to be no problem with it, the direction of gravity has changed. Natasha looked around, and glass display cases were displayed around her. There are large and small display cabinets, high and low. The large one houses a spider silk battle suit similar to that worn by poisonous spiders, and the small one houses various types of spider silk launchers. The flying skateboard of the green goblin suit and the energy core of the arc are placed on the high ones, and some auxiliary equipment such as pumpkin bombs are placed on the low ones. There are a variety of poisonous spiders and green goblins, various weapons and battle clothes for combat. There was no spider potion that Natasha wanted. Natasha frowned, although these are important discoveries in front of her. 
but compared with the spider potion, the weight is still a bit worse. You know, in the shield files, Leon and Norman have always been ordinary people. However, with the invention of the spider silk battle suit and the spider potion, both the poisonous spider and the green devil have shown amazing strength. It's okay if it's just an accident, even if there are two accidental superpowers at a time, shield can accept it. However, if there is a potion that can create powerful superpowers, shield cannot ignore it. The shield bureau does not have potions that can create superpowers, and the super soldier project has never been abandoned. What S.H.I.E.L.D. is afraid of is that there will be a kind of people who have no side effects at all and can produce a large number of superpowers, which will cause huge damage to the stability of American society. And the reason why Natasha was sent to steal the spider potion was also for this purpose, first to get the information of the potion, and then decide how to deal with it. If it's just an exception, don't worry about it at all. If it is not an example, then what Li Ang will face may be the threat of the entire country. Suddenly, Natasha found a small passage behind a display case. When I walked in, I found that it seemed to be a corridor, and the end of the corridor might be connected to another room. The corridor is very dark, with only a faint light, which can make people confirm the direction of the corridor without bumping into the wall. Natasha slowly approached the passage, and walked in cautiously. The dim light did not affect Natasha's progress, and for the sake of safety, Natasha did not turn on other light sources. After all, in her previous missions, she suffered a lot from the photosensitive equipment. Soon, Natasha came to the end of the passage. With the faint light in the corridor, Natasha vaguely saw a door appearing at the end of the corridor. A very traditional and simple wooden door. Natasha walked over cautiously, and gently touched the wooden door with gloves on. No response. Reach for the doorknob. No response. Twist hard. The door is open. Natasha. Natasha was speechless, feeling that she was a little unpredictable about Li Ang's thoughts. He tried his best to build a fake secret room and set the entrance so hidden. There is a passage hidden in the dazzling array of exhibition halls, and there is such a random door at the end of the corridor. Is it to show compassion for the thieves who came to steal secrets? It's really not easy to find here, so let you go in. Natasha shook her head, dispelling the chaotic thoughts in her mind. Gently pushed open the wooden door and walked in. Behind the wooden door is a simple laboratory. A lab bench and a few chairs are all there is to it. Various reagents and a pile of large and small test tubes were placed on the laboratory table, and a pile of used waste paper was scattered beside it. Natasha sniffed her nose, and a faint smell filled the room. To be on the safe side, Natasha pulled out a piece of cloth to cover her mouth and nose. After completing the protective work, Natasha came to the test bench. Instead of searching in a pile of reagents, she first turned over the waste paper on the stage. Soon, Natasha really found a piece of useful information. CX Plan. Part of the experimental records of Norman's own physical enhancement potions. This is what Li Ang specifically asked Norman to come over. This real experimental information is often more likely to deceive people than specially fabricated information. Obviously, even the experienced Natasha was successfully misled, her eyes lit up and she searched more seriously. Soon, Natasha successfully found out the second message prepared by Liang. A piece of paper with a picture of a spider printed on it, with a message written by Liang himself. Spiders are magical creations. If human beings have the power of spiders, they will become crazy. A blot of ink blocked the words below. Natasha didn't delve into it, but was attracted by the photos on the paper. She knew the spider in the picture, and it had the same code name as her. Called. Black Widow. The Black Widow Spider, a spider with a strong neurotoxin. It is the most poisonous of all known spider species. The scary name comes from the fact that female spiders tend to eat the males after mating. The same code name made Natasha look at it twice, and then put it down again. Obviously, the information she wanted was still not on this piece of paper. Natasha was not discouraged either, and continued to rummage through the pile of waste paper on the laboratory bench. Suddenly, a small piece of paper floated down from midair. It turned out that Natasha brought it up along with other waste papers during the rummaging process. Because the piece of paper was too small and light, even Natasha didn't notice it. 
Reaching out and gently pinching it, Natasha flipped the paper over, and a row of numbers arranged in disorder appeared in front of her eyes. 1,023,701,444. Natasha looked at this set of data suspiciously, and racked her brains but couldn't think of any special meaning for it, as if it was written down by hand. But Natasha would not really think that this was written down casually, but instead felt that this set of numbers was the key to her mission. Put the note away carefully, and Natasha has no intention of searching any further. There are some experimental data on the entire experimental table, which Li Ang jotted down during the experiment. There is no formula, no formula, and only data, which is meaningless at all. And, what's even more frightening is that you don't even know which of these data is right and which is wrong. Did I find the wrong one? Natasha, who didn't find the target, couldn't help but began to wonder if she found the right place. Although this is indeed a secret room, it is indeed one of the laboratories where Li Ang conducts experiments. But apart from Li Ang, no one knew in which laboratory the spider potion and potion formula were placed. Just when Natasha was about to leave, she suddenly saw a small yellow dot flashing in the corner of her eyes. Natasha immediately stopped her intention to leave, and slowly squatted down while supporting the experimental table. I saw that on the side of the test bench, a yellow indicator light was blinking, like a monitor in standby mode. Natasha suddenly reacted, and swept all the waste paper off the experimental table. A black glass countertop appeared in front of her eyes. Natasha reached out and groped for a while on the table, but she didn't know which part she touched, and the entire experimental table suddenly lit up. A blue window then appeared on the desktop, like a tablet computer, which can be controlled by touching the desktop. Natasha took a closer look and found that the window that appeared on the desktop was simply a password login page. By coincidence, Natasha directly entered the string of numbers on the piece of paper just now. Click OK. Login successful. In an instant, the windows on the desktop were switched, and rows of folders appeared on the desktop. It turned out that the entire experimental platform was a disguised LCD computer. Natasha randomly clicked on a file, and an experiment video recorded by Li Ang himself began to play. On June 40, the Note 9 experiments of the Super Spider Project, we changed the gene sequence of the spiders to enhance their innate hunting ability. Experiments have shown that the jumping ability of all transformed spiders has been enhanced by more than 10 times, and the spider silk they spit out is stronger than steel wire. Some experimental individuals even seem to have some kind of predictive ability, which greatly improves their danger. Sensitivity. For the sake of safety, no enhancement experiments have been conducted on the gene sequence in charge of spider venom, but we still found a brand new amino acid in the secretion of the spider's venom gland. This amino acid is targeted to human genes, and will preferentially attack human gene sequences. Perhaps, this new amino acid is what I've been looking for, the key, to unlock the treasure house of human genes. Natasha was sure that these folders were what she had been looking for. With a USB flash drive protruding from the body, all these materials must be copied. However, to Natasha's disappointment, even though she searched all the gaps on the test bench, she couldn't find a USB port. The entire experimental platform is like a hole, and there is no so-called external data transmission interface at all. This made Natasha very curious about how the information was stored without a data transmission port. After thinking about it, I can only classify these into high-tech that Natasha doesn't understand. If it wasn't for the fear that the violent demolition would cause the loss of the data inside, Natasha would have torn the entire test bench to pieces. Since she couldn't find an interface for data transmission, Natasha simply stopped worrying and started looking for other useful things on the monitor. Close the folder window at will, and rows of various icons appear on the desktop. Natasha swept her eyes lightly, and was firmly attracted by an icon in the shape of a beaker. In traditional cognition, a beaker means a chemical experiment, and chemical experiments naturally require various medicines. But Natasha has not forgotten that the purpose of her visit this time is not only to obtain Leon's research materials, but also to obtain the finished spider potion. Facing such an obvious icon, Natasha couldn't control her fingers and clicked on it. With Natasha's light touch, a new window opened on the desktop. Three potions of different colors appeared in front of Natasha's eyes. 
Among them, the black, red and dark green potions were covered in gray and could not be selected. The only remaining blue-black potion, against the backdrop of the surrounding gray potion pictures, looks even more vivid. Facing the temptation of the potion, Natasha reached out and tapped lightly on the picture of the blue-black potion. On the experimental platform in front of her, a hidden box was quietly opened, and a cylindrical metal container slowly rose up. See, there was a sound of gas release, followed by a white mist caused by low temperature escaping. As the container was slowly opened, a blue-black potion appeared in front of Natasha. Meanwhile, Natasha didn't notice. With the opening of the metal container, the smell in the air became more intense. Natasha was completely attracted by the beautiful potion in front of her eyes, she stretched out her right hand towards the potion and grabbed it. At this moment, a spider with the same color as the potion suddenly jumped out from beside the potion. Facing the back of Natasha's right hand, he bit down hard. Ah oh, oh. A cry of pain. Natasha subconsciously withdrew her right hand and brought out the spider on the back of her hand. With Natasha's shaking, it fell to her feet. Natasha saw it, stepped on it fiercely, and crushed the blue-black black widow to pieces. Then, just as he was about to grab the potion again, a feeling of dizziness suddenly came to his mind. Before Natasha had time to react, she fell powerlessly to the ground. At the same time, with the sound of, squeaky, gas release, the blue-black medicine in the metal container began to decrease continuously. When Natasha woke up, it was already late at night. When she saw the blue-black potion disappearing in the container, how could a shrewd Natasha not guess that she was being tricked? However, after thinking about it, Natasha still couldn't figure out what Li Ang's purpose was for doing this. Working hard, putting in bait, making traps, everything you do, just to make yourself a test product for medicine. Natasha didn't think that Li Ang's purpose was to kill herself, otherwise she wouldn't have lived till now. It's not just for experimenting with medicine, otherwise I should have been arrested long ago. Although I couldn't guess what Li Ang was thinking, it didn't affect Natasha's benefits. Natasha has always been very familiar with her body. As an excellent female agent, Mastering and using one's own body proficiently is the basic ability of being an agent. However, Natasha suddenly realized that she didn't understand her current body anymore. Whether it's strength or speed, Natasha can clearly feel that the various data of her body have increased by more than 10 times. If we say that the previous Natasha was just a skilled human top agent. Then, Natasha is now an agent with superhuman abilities. You're awake. Just when Natasha was familiar with her body, a voice suddenly came from behind. Natasha woke up instantly, turned around and jumped back, subconsciously trying to distance herself. However, the excited Natasha ignored the changes in her body. With a little force, the whole person was ejected like a cannonball. With his back to the wall, he slammed it hard. What is surprising is that Natasha's body was firmly attached to the wall. The hands and feet seem to have suction cups, which firmly fix themselves. Poisonous spider. Natasha leaned her back against the wall, watching the figure appearing in front of her with vigilant eyes. The black and red spider silk battle suit wrapped a strong and powerful body, and the black and red spider mark was clearly printed on the chest. All kinds of features all show the identity of the comer, poisonous spider. Who are you and who are you working for? Li Ang pretended not to know Natasha's identity, and asked back. I'm an agent from S.H.I.E.L.D., and I'm here to seek your cooperation, doctor, and to protect your safety in secret. With a light jump, Natasha fell directly in front of Li Ang from the wall, and half-truthfully told Li Ang about her purpose. In the words, he has revealed the information that he knows Li Ang's identity, and it is also another test of the poisonous spider's identity. For some reason, Natasha suddenly felt an inexplicable closeness to the poisonous spider in front of her, as if the other party was someone she could trust. It's just that this sense of intimacy is not enough to change Natasha's principles. Although Natasha directly told Leon some of her information, this was the result of Natasha's own choice. When the identity of the agent is discovered, there are nothing more than two options. One is to refuse to reveal the slightest information and resist desperately. The other is Natasha, who reveals some information, gains trust and obtains more useful information at the same time. Natasha chose the second option. What's more, poisonous spiders have always been on the list of S.H.I.E.L.D. 
Letting Li Ang understand part of the shield situation is also a prerequisite for attracting him. In fact, both the spider that bit Natasha and the blue-black potion she inhaled were specially modified versions by Li Ang. Li Ang added part of his gene sequence in it. In a sense, Natasha transformed by the potion can be said to be Li Ang's child. It was this genetic connection that gave Natasha a natural closeness to Leon. This instinctive closeness will not affect Natasha's mind like a charm. Instead, when Natasha makes a decision about Li Ang, she will subconsciously choose a way that is more friendly and beneficial to Li Ang. Shield. From the same place as Coulson. Li Ang still remembered Coulson's application for a visit a few days ago, so he took the opportunity to speak out. Yes, we are all agents from Shield. In order to ensure the safety of the United States, I need to know your purpose, Dr. Leon. Natasha looked at Li Ang in front of her, and asked burningly. This is also about Leon, the issue that Shield has been discussing. The appearance of the poisonous spider was too sudden, without any warning at all. Just following the battle between Iron Man and Iron Overlord, he immediately appeared in front of the world. Judging from the results, the appearance of the poisonous spider obviously saved Iron Man's life. However, after solving the Iron Overlord, Liang even beat Tony up immediately, and snatched a whole set of steel suits by the way, successfully making Tony a laughing stock. The next time it appeared was in the Corvo University incident. He also appears with the Green Goblin, and the two are clearly in a partnership. It is also for this reason that S.H.I.E.L.D. will target Leon and Dr. Norman. No comment. Natasha's state made Li Ang very surprised, and this straightforward way of dialogue made Li Ang feel a little disgusted. This is because Natasha is not yet fully familiar with the ability, and her emotions are easily affected by her genes. Natasha obviously also noticed this, and immediately began to deliberately control it. Drive Li Ang, don't get me wrong. We are not malicious, but hope to cooperate with Dr. Li Ang. After simple probing and Li Ang's personal admission in the monitoring equipment, Natasha has 100% confirmed the identity of Dr. Li Ang. Well, Norman Osborne is probably the green devil who acts with poisonous spiders. So far, Natasha's task has been successfully completed 80.00%. Although she didn't get the materials and finished products of the spider potion, she herself was a reformer of the spider potion. The spider potion needed for the mission is on her body. I reject. Li Ang is still working hard to maintain an indifferent and unreasonable personality, in order to influence Shield's evaluation of him through Natasha. Li Ang didn't forget that Hydra was completely entrenched in Shield. Since that's the case, don't bother Dr. Li Ang. I hope we will have the opportunity to cooperate again in the future. Natasha didn't force it either, she also wanted to go back and report to work early. As he spoke, he slowly passed by Li Ang's side, and walked towards the passage outside. Wait. Just when Natasha walked to the door, Li Ang stopped her suddenly. Natasha's heart trembled, and she became tense in an instant, her entire body tensed up on guard. At this time, only Li Ang said lightly. Draw some blood before leaving. Natasha left the Osborne building clutching her arms, feeling speechless for a while. It should be said that it is worthy of being engaged in scientific research, but it actually uses itself as an experiment. After using the potion, the first thing I thought of was to draw a tube of blood for myself. Including the Corvo University incident, after obtaining Hulk's blood, Liang took Dr. Norman and left directly. Thinking of this, Natasha suddenly felt that it was not impossible to cooperate with Liang. If it's just blood, there's a premium in shield. And it's kind of renewable. Natasha decided to report this situation with the director. If it goes well, shield may get Liang's help. Jingle bell. At this moment, the communicator on Natasha rang. Nick Fury, the current director of shield. Looking at the name noted on the communicator, Natasha quickly picked it up. Director Fury, mission accomplished. Really. Very good, I will report the specific situation when you come back. You have a new task now. Fury's tone was flat, and he was not surprised that Natasha was able to complete the task so quickly. By the way, he also released a new task for her. What? I just finished here, what is the task so anxious? Natasha was very surprised, what kind of task would allow Fury to rank the priority ahead of Leon without knowing it? 
You know, before Fury made the call, he didn't know that Natasha had already completed the task on Liang's side. It's Tony. There's something wrong with his body. Natasha, who is answering the phone, stopped in her tracks, the problem is serious. If you can't find a way, you may die. Fury's statement is not alarmist. Regarding the harm of palladium to the body, SHIELD has specialized researchers to evaluate it. The assessment results are of course very pessimistic. What do you need me to do? Natasha also knew the importance of the matter, and it was very appropriate for her to come forward when she contacted the famous, playboy, Tony Stark. Although she just returned from the, scientific researcher, Liang, Natasha believed that not every, scientific researcher, was like Liang. Observe, evaluate. Nick Fury said calmly. Although Tony's father is one of the founders of S.H.I.E.L.D., Fury still won't give Tony any preferential treatment because of this. If Tony Stark, who is Iron Man, relies on his iron suit to do something that endangers society, he will not be soft. Of course, it's not that Fury really doesn't care about friendship, otherwise he wouldn't have sent Natasha to, look after, Tony. Preparing for bad things before they happen has always been Nick Fury's character. I'm going over here. Although he hadn't had time to rest, he received a new task. Natasha alone also prioritized, and drove directly to Stark Industries after hanging up the phone. After going through Stark's information in her mind, she already had a full plan in her heart. Pepper Potts. Pepper is definitely a good touch as Tony's personal assistant. Not far not near, just right. Dash 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 dash. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, USA. A company called the Life Foundation brought a black liquid that fell from space back to the laboratory. Are you sure? Is it an alien creature? Carlton Drake, owner of the Life Foundation. At this moment, he is repeatedly confirming the nature of the black liquid in the glass cabin to the scientific researchers around him. Yes, it is certain that this is a creature from outer space, and it is also a symbiotic creature. In other words, this organism needs to combine with other organisms to survive in an oxygen-rich environment. At the same time, after combining with the host, the symbiont can greatly improve the various functions of the host. The researchers on the side reported the discovery of the symbiont in detail. Carlton was excited when he heard this, and a bold idea appeared in his mind. He wants to create a new species through the combination of symbionts and humans. Of course, before that, what he needs to do is report to his boss. Yes, Carlton is only the nominal boss of the Life Foundation, but the real boss is actually someone else. Hey, boss, I have a new discovery. You will definitely like it. Carlton was very excited, and there was an emotion of worship in his words. What discovery? Let's hear it. Li Ang's calm voice came from the phone. Yes, Carlton's boss is Li Ang. As early as three years ago, after Li Ang gained a firm foothold in the Osborne group, he began to acquire or establish his own enterprises and forces. Carlton, who was still a down-and-out scientist at the time, walked into his sight. With the help of Li Ang, Carlton successfully established the Life Foundation, an enterprise about the production of genes and pharmaceuticals. In fact, many of the genes of various organisms that Li Ang needed were collected and provided by the Life Foundation. At the same time, Li Ang also helped Carlton a lot with regard to many genetic problems. In a sense, the relationship between Li Ang and Carlton can be said to be a teacher and friend, which is one of the reasons why Carlton respects Li Ang so much. I found an alien life form, Carlton said excitedly. When Li Ang heard this, he immediately became interested. What kind of form? The Earth in the Marvel Universe has never lacked intruders and various intruders. The gene of an alien species means a brand new transformation form for Li Ang. Liquid. Liquid. Li Ang sat up from the chair all of a sudden, a kind of guess made him excited and trembled uncontrollably. Yes, liquid. Carlton was also very excited, did you know that this liquid creature has the characteristics of symbiosis, which means that they need to combine with the host to survive. I think this is God's guide to human evolution. Quote. The more Carlton spoke, the more excited he became, and the whole person became a little fanatical. When Li Ang heard this, he could basically confirm that what Carlton got was the symbiosis. Just judging from the time, it shouldn't be venom. Of course, Li Ang didn't dare to be too sure. 
After all, since he appeared in this universe, many things have deviated from the time in his memory. Even the abilities and forms of some people have undergone great changes. If he still insists on the cognition in memory, Liang will suffer a big loss sooner or later. Realizing this, Liang decided to go there himself. Only seeing can be believing. When Liang came to the Life Foundation, he got bad news. Symbiote, dead. What's going on? Why did the symbiote die? Liang was very puzzled, how could the symbiont who was alive and kicking a few hours ago die in a short time? Liang didn't think that Carlton would lie to him, but the change of things was beyond his expectation. I don't know, Carlton was very frustrated. The symbiont and the host were well combined, but suddenly the rejection reaction began. Not long after that, they were separated because of the death of the host, and they were already dying before you came. Liang suddenly realized that it seemed that if the symbiont failed to combine with the host, it would also affect the symbiont. If the surrounding environment is particularly unsuitable for survival, there is also the possibility of death. The survival of the symbiont itself is maintained by obtaining energy from the host. If there is no host and no energy, the symbiont will also, starve to death. Take me over there. Li Ang felt that he should go and have a look at this symbiont first. If it is not dead, maybe it can be rescued. Even if he died completely, it would not affect Li Ang's acquisition of genes. As long as the body has not completely lost its activity, even a corpse is fine. Otherwise, how did Li Ang obtain genes through blood? You come with me. Carlton hurriedly led Li Ang towards the laboratory. When he came to the laboratory, the first thing Li Ang saw was a black red liquid in the glass cabin. Not venom. Li Ang immediately judged that the symbiont that appeared in front of him was not venom. The color of the venom is pure black, and the one in front of him is indeed a mixture of black and red. At this time, the symbiont has lost its activity, and the whole thing is spread on the bottom of the glass cabin like a pool of mud. Li Ang couldn't judge the situation of the symbiont in the glass cabin with his naked eyes, and he didn't know whether it was dead or alive. Open the hatch. Li Ang said directly to Carlton's order. But, Carlton wanted to say something, but was stopped by Li Ang's eyes. I had no choice but to walk over by myself and open the glass hatch for Li Ang to accommodate the symbiosis. As the hatch opened, Li Ang walked over directly. Stretched out his left hand and pressed it towards the symbiosis. Then, seeing no movement from the symbiote, the spider mark on the back of Li Ang's hand moved first. As if encountering a long-awaited delicacy, he climbed up directly from the back of Li Ang's hand. Like a real spider, it rushed towards the body of the symbiote. A black mark-like spider silk remained on Li Ang's left hand, connecting with the mark of the spider who was eating. Li Ang felt that the spider mark on the back of his hand was also like some kind of symbiosis. It needs him as a host to survive, and it also provides him with various conveniences. At least, in the face of such an attractive gene as a symbiont, the spider imprint still dare not break away from itself. Yes, dare not. As the spider imprint continued to absorb the genes of the symbiote, Liang gradually discovered that he could actually feel the emotions from the spider imprint. Including the desire and excitement when facing the symbiote gene, as well as the anxiety and fear of leaving his body. The spider imprint is afraid, it breaks the connection with it in Leon. Hello, master. After the spider imprint absorbed the symbiote, it returned to the back of Liang's hand. A gentle female voice suddenly sounded in Liang's mind. Who are you? Liang was startled, his eyes suddenly became dangerous. Master, don't be nervous, I'm here. As he said that, a burst of warmth came from the back of Liang's hand. Li Ang looked down, and the spider mark on the back of his hand was blinking red, as if greeting him. Did you gain your own consciousness after absorbing the genes of the symbiote? Li Ang asked curiously. After all, the spider mark on his hand has been with him for three full years, and this is the first time this has happened. No. The spider imprint in his mind seemed to shake his head, and there was a hint of embarrassment in his voice, I am the one that the master said was absorbed. Li Ang. It turned out that the symbiont had the ability to divide and reproduce. After being absorbed by the spider imprint, a large number of symbiont genes naturally produced a new individual. Moreover, judging from the behavior of the symbiont, the spider mark also seems to have absolute control over it. Well, what should I call you? 
Facing a symbiote that appeared in the imprint of the spider, Liang still felt that the other party should have a name. Facing Liang's question, the symbiont thought for a while and said. Please call me. Original. Original. The beginning of everything. Liang raised his eyebrows, then why don't you call it starting point? Original. I'm sorry. Speak the most embarrassing things in the strongest tone. Liang was very speechless. After all, it was the first symbiont to appear on the earth, and it was the only existing symbiont. Why are you so cowardly? What are your abilities? Liang wanted to know if his symbiosis was the same as the symbiosis he remembered. I can strengthen the various body functions of the host, and I can also create various weapons through the shaping ability. The original tone sounded a little proud. Doesn't your symbiont have a learning ability? It can evolve differently according to the host's ability. This feature of being able to continuously evolve according to the host's ability is what Liang really cares about. No, no more. Yuan Yuan suddenly became a little aggrieved. Gone. What do you mean by gone? Liang asked curiously. It's gone, that is to say, the gene of this ability has been deprived, and I have lost the ability to evolve. It turned out that the original was just a, semi-finished product, formed after being absorbed by the spider mark. As for the original gene, where is the ability to learn evolution? Needless to ask, it must have been absorbed by the spider mark. That is to say, Liang suddenly realized that he only cared about the original situation just now. After absorbing the genes of the symbiont, the changes in the spider imprint itself have not had time to see. Thinking of this, Liang put Yuan Yuan aside, and sank down to feel the change of the spider mark on the back of his hand. A message came from the imprint of the spider, and Liang raised his head in surprise after receiving it. Liang once again mastered a new transformation form, the symbiosis mode. All the abilities possessed by the symbiont can be used by Liang after it is born. And under the optimization of the spider mark, the weaknesses of sound waves and flames also no longer exist. Most importantly, the ability to copy and learn to evolve has been greatly enhanced. It seems to be a special enhancement with a spider mark, and this ability to replicate can even be described as terrifying. Faced with the characteristics of his new form, Liang suddenly thought of a magical operation. In symbiosis mode, transform into other forms. The ability of the symbiont is a mode, it does not have a fixed form, it is more of an ability to use. In this mode, Liang can transform into other forms. In other words, he can not only use the symbiote mode in the basic state of the poisonous spider, but also in the form of the scarlet spider and even the green poisonous spider. Moreover, through the symbiont mode, it has super learning and replicability of the host's ability. Liang felt that he seemed to be able to use two or more abilities in different forms at the same time. For example, in the form of the green poisonous spider, use the various abilities of the scarlet spider. Moreover, with the increase of Li Ang's transformation forms in the future, the combinations he can have will become more and more varied. It is even possible for three or four abilities to appear at the same time. Thor Frost Green Venom Spider. Scarlet Extremis Dark Spider. Thinking of this, Li Ang couldn't help being excited, and couldn't wait to activate the symbiosis mode to try it out. Symbiote Mode. With the activation of Li Ang's symbiosis mode, a large black-red liquid suddenly emerged from his body surface. Soon his whole body was wrapped in it, turning into a classic black and red spider silk battle suit. As the symbiotic organization covered Li Ang's whole body, a massive silver black object was directly squeezed out from Li Ang's body. Ouch! A cry of pain. Yuan Chu, who was thrown out, looked at Li Ang with a dazed expression, feeling as if he had been abandoned. Li Ang has the abilities she has, and Li Ang also has the abilities she doesn't have. Yuan Chu suddenly felt that he was so useless. However, now is not the time to think about these things. After being stripped from Li Ang's body, Yuan Yuan returned to his basic form. Without the dependence of the host, the direct exposure to the oxygen-enriched environment caused the energy in the original body to begin to be consumed rapidly. It is itself a new body after gene integration, where there is so much energy to consume. Seeing the energy in the body continue to decrease, the original urgently needed a host for symbiosis. In the lab, besides Li Ang, there was only Carlton with a shocked face. 
Originally, he had no choice, and in order to survive, he had no choice. Shrinking his body on the spot, he rushed towards Carlton in an instant. The shocked Carlton didn't even have time to react, and Yuan Yuan fused into his body. Huh. It's quite suitable. The sound of original surprise came from Carlton's body. What are you, are you that alien creature just now? Carlton was still in shock and asked in a panic. Although he has been watching from the side, he doesn't understand the whole thing. He only saw Li Ang stretch out his left hand and put it directly on the corpse of the alien creature. Then, the corpse of the alien creature entered Li Ang's body entirely. Not long after, a black and red spider silk battle suit grows out of Li Ang's body. At the same time, a new alien creature was also thrown out of Li Ang's body. Unlike the previous one, this one has a silver black exterior. Before Carlton could take a closer look, the silver black alien creature rushed towards him. Before Carlton had time to dodge, he was rushed by it. Watching the alien life form with my own eyes, gradually integrating into my own body. Are you asking me? Tell you, you are lucky. Yuan Yuan suddenly shouted exaggeratedly. I am the first and only pure symbiote on this planet. With me, I can instantly give you a superhuman physique, amazing resilience, and immunity to various diseases at the same time. How is it? Do you feel very happy and excited? Faced with the original self-promotion, Carlton said that he must not be tempted or realistic. Is what you said true? He has always been envious of Li Ang's abilities. You won't know until you try. Yuan Yuan curled his lips, too lazy to communicate with Carlton. Directly forcibly took over the control of his body, and completely integrated himself into his body. I saw that following the original movement, a large cloud of silver black liquid immediately began to emerge from Carlton's body, and soon spread to the whole body. Following the transformation of the silver black liquid, a figure wearing a silver black spider silk battle suit appeared in the laboratory. How? I'm right. Yuan Yuan raised his head proudly. That's right, but, why are there two balls of this thing on the chest? Carlton looked at the towering, chest, on his chest and roared angrily. Ha, ha ha, don't care about these details. Yuan Yuan laughed awkwardly. Following the initial squirm, Carlton's form finally returned to normal. As the original form of choosing a woman, on the premise of not deliberately changing the form, all her transformations are female. However, the body of the symbiont itself is liquid, so it is very simple to change the shape. Adapting to the body of the host itself is one of the basic abilities of the symbiont. However, for Carlton, the first transformation was obviously very unpleasant. When Yuan Yuan was communicating with Carlton, Liang also successfully activated the symbiosis mode. Liang's basic form is that of a poisonous spider. In order to make better use of the characteristics of the symbiont, Liang decided to transform into a scarlet spider first. With the light of a red light on the spider mark, Liang's size changed a lot. The whole person became stronger, and the muscles all over his body bulged out one by one. On the wrist, in addition to the original spider silk injection port, there are two more release organs for scarlet venomous thorns. Even the spider silk battle suit on his body has also changed, from the original more black and less red to a more red and less black style. Scarlet Spider. With the transformation of the Scarlet Spider completed, the next thing to do is to turn on the symbiosis mode and merge with the Scarlet Spider. Only after the symbiont copies and absorbs all the characteristics of the Scarlet Spider, and then combines the characteristics of the Scarlet Spider with the basic form of the Poisonous Spider, can it create a more powerful new form. With the activation of the symbiote mode, the symbiote tissue in Li Ang's body immediately began to replicate frantically. All the abilities and characteristics of Li Ang's Scarlet Spider form were packed, and all of them were loaded into the body of the symbiote. Li Ang could feel that the symbiont tissue in his body was like a sponge, eagerly absorbing Li Ang's various genes and skills. Speed, strength, agility, tenacity, spider silk, spider sense, scarlet toxin, scarlet stinger. Ability that is closely related to genes is easily copied by the symbiont, and the entire symbiont has become the second scarlet spider. This is exactly what Li Ang wants to see. Only in this way can Li Ang possess the power of two forms at the same time. After confirming that the symbiote could perfectly simulate the scarlet spider's form, 
Liang began to activate the spider mark again. Through the power of the spider imprint, change your own genetic sequence. Liang's body shape has returned to its original shape again, with a slender and streamlined body, but it contains the same huge and terrifying power. Poisonous Spider After recovering the basic form of the poisonous spider again, Liang began to control the symbiote in his body to fuse with the form of the poisonous spider. Different from the original symbiote organization that was as white as paper, the symbiote integrated into the poisonous spider now carries all the abilities of the scarlet spider. The continuous fusion of the symbiote and the poisonous spider is equivalent to continuously integrating the ability of the scarlet spider into the form of the poisonous spider. The fusion of the two abilities determines that more than 1 plus 1 equals 2. The effect shown by the fusion of the two abilities is definitely greater than 2. The entire symbiosis is like a set of equipment, possessing all the abilities of Scarlet Spider. Li Ang turned on the symbiont mode in the poisonous spider form, as if he was wearing this set of equipment on himself. In addition to the poisonous spider ability possessed by the original naked outfit, you can also use the Scarlet Spider ability attached to the equipment. And the mode of symbiosis is basically no consumption for Li Ang. The symbiont is like an organ owned by Li Ang himself, and its manipulation is completely instinctive. Whether to use it or not is completely in Li Ang's mind. This is much faster than Li Ang switching between various forms through the spider mark. Soon, Li Ang completely put on the equipment of the Scarlet Spider, and a poisonous spider with all the abilities of the Scarlet Spider appeared. Scarlet Poisonous Spider, Debut even though he was in the basic form of a poisonous spider, Liang felt that he could use the scarlet spider's ability with a thought. Crack. There was a sound of electric current. A streak of black lightning jumped on Liang's fingertips, and then continuously spread towards Liang's body, spreading all over his body, completely enveloping Liang. Against the backdrop of the black lightning, Liang's black and red figure looked like a demon crawling out of hell. Originally, the black lightning could only be released with both hands and the scarlet stinger. In the symbiosis mode, because of the characteristics of the symbiosis, it can be released from all over the body. Of course, the use of the scarlet stinger is no longer limited to wrists, fingertips, elbows, knees. All parts that can be attacked can be released with the scarlet stinger. Not to mention the increase in power, just this kind of elusive change is enough to make the enemy feel very headache. After tasting the sweetness, Liang couldn't wait to try the fusion of the three abilities. Directly activate the spider mark, releasing a large amount of gamma energy. Under the stimulation of gamma energy, Liang's body shape changed again. The whole body continued to grow huge, muscles more exaggerated than the scarlet spider bulged piece by piece, and explosive power emerged from Liang's body. Green Poison Spider the transformation of Li Ang's form caused the symbiont to change accordingly. As the symbiont merged into Li Ang's body again, the symbiont carrying the scarlet spider gene began to absorb the gene of the green poisonous spider again. Copy, absorb, evolve. The symbiont actually has to carry two genes of the scarlet spider and the green poisonous spider at the same time. Snapped. A crisp sound. Without warning, Li Ang's right arm exploded. A large mass of symbiont tissue sprayed out along with flesh and blood, painting the floor black and red. The symbiont organization in the body has become extremely unstable, the gene combination of the green poisonous spider and the scarlet spider has already exceeded the limit that the symbiont organization can bear. The overwhelmed symbiont organization couldn't even integrate with Li Ang's body stably. Snapped. Another explosion. A large amount of symbiont tissue was also sprayed out from Li Ang's left leg. As soon as these symbiont tissues landed, they turned into a pool of black-red liquid, polluting the floor. The symbiont tissue is becoming more and more fragile, and the genetic collapse has reached an irresistible level. If this continues, all symbiont tissues will die completely. And Li Ang, who was fused with the symbiote organization, will also be fatally injured. Discovering the deterioration of the symbiont organization, Liang quickly stopped the transformation of the green poisonous spider and returned to the form of the poisonous spider, so as to reduce the pressure on the symbiont organization. As Liang changed form, the symbiosis that had been boiling gradually calmed down. Without the burden of a large number of powerful genes, the symbiote organization has once again demonstrated its due capabilities. 
The symbionts that make up the spider silk battle suit squirmed and gathered towards Li Ang's right arm and left leg. Filling in Li Ang's missing flesh and blood tissue, and healing Li Ang's injuries. The most powerful aspect of the symbiote lies in its abnormal recovery ability. The symbiont in Li Ang's body is of the same species as him, and all gene sequences are exactly the same. Although it is only liquid in form, it is essentially a tissue similar to, bone marrow hematopoietic stem cells. It can differentiate into various cells needed by Li Ang's body without hindrance, filling the gaps in various tissues and organs. Wu. Not long after, Li Ang, who had fully recovered, let out a long sigh of relief. The genetic collapse of the symbiote organization made him understand that it is a bit too hasty to have the ability to possess three forms at the same time. Li Ang discovered that the symbiosis also has limits. Although it will continue to evolve, evolution also requires a process. Perhaps, when the symbiont completely fused and absorbed the scarlet spider's gene, it would be able to absorb the third gene. However, generally speaking, Li Ang is still very satisfied. The emergence of the symbiosis mode has made his combat methods more diverse. At this moment, Li Ang suddenly discovered that Yuan Yuan in his body had disappeared. As soon as he turned his head, he saw a silver black figure behind him, scratching his head and posing, at the reflection on the glass wall. Li Ang, what are you doing? Li Ang looked at Carlton speechlessly. Seeing Carlton's current image, Li Ang knew that the original must be on him. However, I didn't expect Carlton's physique to be so suitable for combining with the symbiosis. Whether it is the possible riots in the future, or the original combination with Carlton, Carlton can adapt well. Boss, are you okay? Carlton immediately stood up to attention, and honestly faced Li Ang. Li Ang glanced at him angrily. Your boss's arms and legs are bursting, are you still looking in the mirror? It wasn't Carlton's fault either, he was also panicked when he found out that Li Ang had a physical problem. It's just that Yuan Chu in his body kept saying, no problem, so he didn't bother Li Ang. The facts were indeed as originally said, and it didn't take long for Li Ang to recover by himself. Carlton felt relieved, and began to examine his new form. He has always been envious of his boss Li Ang's superpower. Through the media's reports on the Stark Industries incident and the Corvo University incident, Carlton also understands the power of the boss more clearly. Even just a small piece of tissue thrown from the boss is enough to turn him into a powerful superhuman as well. Carlton felt a strong sense of power in his body, and a strong desire and obsession emerged in his heart. He wants to become stronger. Like Li Ang, even stronger than him. Hey, don't do stupid things. Sensing Carlton's emotions, Yuan Yuan in his body immediately shouted. Yuan Chu, who had been in Li Ang's body, understood Li Ang's strength very well. If Carlton was affected by the power he brought and wanted to be an enemy of Li Ang, Yuan Yuan would definitely abandon Carlton as the host immediately. She doesn't want to die yet. Of course, she didn't want to give up Carlton, if possible. After all, it was the first time she had encountered such a comfortable body. Don't worry, I'm not crazy yet. Carlton, annoyed, said the same as before. He's not crazy. Could it be that if he wants to become as rich as Tony Stark, he has to kill Tony Stark? The boss is just my goal, not my enemy. Carlton explained in his heart. That's fine, that's fine. After listening to Carlton's explanation, Yuan Yuan was obviously relieved. Your conversation. I can hear it. Li Ang's calm voice came from not far away. Carlton original. Li Ang. Perhaps it was due to some symbiont organizations in the body. Li Ang heard the conversation between Carlton and Yuan Yuan clearly. Sorry boss. X2. Carlton quickly apologized, and Yuan Yuan, who merged with him, also followed suit. It's okay. Li Ang waved his hand. How do you feel about your new image? For Carlton, Li Ang still appreciates it. As for the original symbiont, for Li Ang, it was originally a dispensable existence. Coupled with the repulsion that would occur when activating the symbiosis mode, Li Ang couldn't use Yuan Yuan at all. Now that Carlton's strength can be strengthened, Li Ang is quite satisfied. It feels great. Carlton danced excitedly, constantly showing his body in front of Li Ang. Although Li Ang was not interested in the man, he still looked at him politely. Suddenly, 
Liang discovered that Carlton's transformed figure was exactly the same as his own poisonous spider. After all, Liang is the first theoretical host of Yuan Yuan, and all of Yuan Yuan's abilities come from Liang. Although it has lost the ability to evolve, the primordial body produced from Liang's body has perfectly inherited all the abilities of Liang's poisonous spider form. This also led to Carlton's transformation, which can be said to be a complete replica of the poisonous spider. Apart from the color of the spider silk battle suit, there is no difference from the outside. Wait, Liang stopped Carlton from showing his body, can you change your color? In Liang's memory, the color of the symbiont seems to be the symbol of their identity. It has never been mentioned which symbiote can change body color at will. Because of the genetic relationship, the color of the symbiote's body is determined from the beginning. However, Liang was not sure whether Yuan Yuan was the same as other symbionts, so he asked curiously. I don't know, ouch. Can. Before Carlton finished speaking, he suddenly let out a strange cry. After Yuan Yuan interrupted Carlton, he said affirmatively. Then, I saw a stream of fresh blood being drawn out of Carlton's body, spreading rapidly along the silver spider silk veins on his body. Soon, a black and red, poisonous spider, appeared in front of Liang. Liang watched Yuan Yuan's actions speechlessly, and silently felt sympathy for Carlton. It's not surprising that Liang was able to understand his own thoughts at the beginning, after all, it came from his own body. It's just that she didn't expect that she would use this method to change the color of her body. Fortunately, only the silver spider silk pattern needs to be changed, otherwise. It's just that Carlton will bleed once every time he transforms into a poisonous spider. If it comes once a month, maybe Carlton can consider calling it sanitary pad warrior. However, since Carlton can successfully transform into a poisonous spider. With the exposure of identities, some inconvenient things can also be prepared. Dash 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 dash. Time passed quickly, and it had been a week since Li Ang returned to Osborne Mansion. On this day, Li Ang received a large number of appointment applications again. Li Ang found that Coulson, who had been persevering before, had disappeared. I don't know if it's because Natasha's mission is completed, or because of other missions, Coulson hasn't shown up in the past few days. Instead, there is an extra special application from Tony Stark. Hi, Dr. Leon, how are you doing recently? Tony unceremoniously sat across from Liang, with his legs resting on the desk casually. Seeing your application for an appointment, I thought you had changed your temper. Now it seems that you are still the same. Li Ang looked at Tony expressionlessly, acting very indifferent. It is said that the rich rely on technology, and the poor rely on mutation. As a representative of the rich, Tony Stark has nothing that particularly attracts Leon. Going to snatch his steel suit before was just to make up for the shortcomings of the Green Goblin suit. Don't be so indifferent, I haven't settled with you for what you did to me back then. Tony has already fully determined that Li Ang is a poisonous spider. I don't remember what I did to you. Li Ang looked at Tony noncommittally, tell me, what do you want me to do? In fact, even if Tony didn't mention Li Ang, he could guess that it was nothing more than palladium poisoning. Well, there is indeed a little thing. Tony moved his fingers, I don't know if your spider potion is for sale. As Tony said, he lowered his legs and leaned towards Li Ang, with an inexplicable expectation in his eyes. Li Ang raised his eyebrows and looked at Tony in surprise. What's wrong? Tony Stark actually began to pursue superpowers brought about by genetic mutations. Could it be that? Tony is bankrupt. Tony naturally did not go bankrupt, mainly because palladium poisoning had already eroded his body too badly, and Tony might die of palladium poisoning anytime soon. However, after Tony's calculations, if he can have Li Ang's physique. Even if it has been eroded by the palladium element, it can still be carried by relying on its strong physique. Even if it can't be completely resisted, it can extend the lifespan to the standard of normal human beings. Compared with the genetic changes in his body, he could not accept his untimely death. He is still at the age of, doing, it is a pity that he died so early. If it's just the appearance of the Hulk and the Abomination, it may not be enough for Tony to consider this path. After all, neither of these two seemed to be of normal size. 
A model mismatch can be a serious problem. But the appearance of Li Ang made Tony's eyes shine. While being able to maintain a normal human body shape, it also has a strong physical fitness. If it weren't for the, Super Soldier Project, which has been proven to be unfeasible many times, maybe Tony's first choice should be the, Super Soldier Project. Now, Tony just wants to get the potion from Li Ang, and then use his own wisdom to judge whether this potion can save his life. Unexpectedly, Li Ang shook his head when he heard this. Sorry, not for sale. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.